Uh, hey! Oh! Yeah! We're on the internet! Yay, oh, internet! Oh my god! <laughs> Hello. We did it. We did it, thing! We're in the studio! Yay! We are, yeah, we're, right. we're, we're in the same room, so Jim. Excited. We're in the same room. We're all in the same room. Most people here probably don't even know who we are because we're on Paizo's channel today, yes. guys. We're not on the Dat Network, we're on Paizo's channel. Everybody, Paizo people, if you are from Dat Fam, well, you know that you are Best Fam and welcome. Uh, but for those of you who, who don't know yet what Bat Dat Fam is, <laughs> I. <laughs> I am uh, I'm Jim Jam, and I'm here. We're gonna run some Pathfinder tonight. Uh, with me are four brave adventurers, one of whom is laughing at me already, and I predict it's going to, that's gonna continue for the rest of the night. This is James Chu, everybody. We got right. James Chu. <laughs> we got Diana Restrepo here friend. with us tonight. Yes. On the other side of the table, we have Jared Hoy Yay. and Yay. Katie Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we need to uh, really it's mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, they no. are beautiful wings, though. Thank you. They're Diana's. Uh, they are Diana's. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they look gorgeous. For those of you uh, who, again, aren't quite familiar with Dad Fam, what we are going to be doing is a show called we like to call Heroic Endeavors, and that is a show where we feature a new adventure every single week with a new cast of characters. Uh, they will be tackling various jobs that pop up around the fantastical homebrewed city of Cavalosha. Um, Everybody out there, you are actually going to have a chance to be sort of a, a participant in the game a little bit. Uh, we have a donation <laughs> option. Uh, there will be a link in the chat. Uh, when you make a donation, you can, you can basically sponsor a hero by giving the group a hero point. Uh, we'll be using hero points as they're a very vital part of the Pathfinder system. Um, and the hero points that you donate for will be group hero points that anybody who needs one can pull from. Um, there are also a number of channel points. If you've got a bunch of channel points racked up for on, on Paizo's Twitch, you can spend those channel points and you can affect things in sort of non-game ways. I, I believe you can change the camera, you can change the look of the show if you want, um, and some other things that you can do in there. Uh, check out the, the channel point options. James Street <laughs> is such a weirdo. Oh, <laughs> check out those channel point options to find out how you can spend them uh, to, to hang out with us and, and be a part of the show. Um, as a disclaimer, while we are using Pathfinder's second edition rule set, Heroic Endeavors is a homebrew game. This is not meant to be canon to the Lost Omen setting. We run our own stories. Uh, we might reference things that are not in Galarian at all. Just roll with it. We're just we're just doing generic <laughs> fantasy homebrew stuff in here. Uh, this is this is while we are on uh, Paizo's official Twitch, this is not Pathfinder official content. We're just using the rules, and because we're just kind of using the rules, I'll probably get some things wrong, or I'll just roll with decisions because I, I I like it when things go quickly. If I get things wrong, you can feel free to yell at me, but I will probably ignore that <laughs> particular aspect of things. Uh, and while we're talking about ways that you can chat with me and yell at me about rules, we do occasionally get on here and chat with the chat by reading comments. So, Ooh. why don't we take a minute and oh. uh, chat with everybody? Yes. Uh, Joe donated $10 for a hero point. That nice. is fantastic. That means one group hero point. I'll put that in the pool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You have Thank the physical you, Joe. hero points. Then um, Joe donated another ten dollars. Oh so, my god! So, so yeah, here's the thing. Wait. I think that's the uh, oh. our testing. Those oh, I don't think that's the lies. stuff yet. Yeah, they're lies. Yeah, yeah. They're like like if I were to read don't have any one of the comments on nothing. there, I why would, did you um, betray us, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I will read a comment from Erzad who said, homebrew, best brew. Best yeah. brew. Ah, best brew. Also, Paizo said, we love homebrew too. Well, so. Hey, you know. Hi, Paizo. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Paizo. Paizo. I hope they like Paizo because they let us on their Twitch. So. I would hope yeah. so. Yeah. I would hope it was so. Like, they gave they? us the keys who and are walked they? away. Just I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read this one because it's my name in it. Uh, Real Post 98. Hi, John. Uh, oh my God, you got James and Diana. Wow, I might cry. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Best friends. Best friends. Oh, oh, we have. We, oh, we have. It yeah, all. we have it right there. Yeah. I was looking. Sorry. There. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. You can, you can talk and get it. Oh. Like, wow. like I want to say, what up, JD Hood Nine Two. Jordan. Ray. 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 Cool. It's amazing. 
I like how we all stopped at the exact moment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Uh, official Paizo says real people in the studio. It is, I have yeah. not played in this studio I know. yet. I, I haven't, haven't either. Done it. I haven't gotten to it at all. I haven't played an in-person game. I did. I did. I did a session zero. I've only done one in-person game, and it was a year ago. Wow! I'm able to do it. My first time. Kind of scared. So excited. is so excited. Nathan. Nondrasek. Nondrasek walked away from his new baby to watch us. Yes. Maybe the new baby. Diana was so concerned. Oh my gosh! Is this is this Ezra's first game? Oh. Uh, Lemon218, thank you for the resubscribe yes. Prime. It's two months Aww. right there. <gasps> Nathan says, I'm holding my baby. Oh. Yay. Yay. Zach Attack says, I love the setup. Yay. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Yes, very nice. It's much better than just staring at a Zoom call for oh. five hours yeah. trying to play. I got to say, that was, I, I mean, it was, it was what we had. But I was getting very tired of remote play. I'll tell you, I do miss the little tiny graveyard from the cave, though, with all of Diana's <laughs> characters. That's true. Oh, if we I'm should being bring honest. that back. <laughs> no. We need a hero, hero graveyard. Aww. I mean, I know I'll burn first, but no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jeez, that was so dark. Well, I mean, she's a plant. Leaves. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. Totally forgot. Totally forgot about it. Kid. It is fire season in California. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> Isn't it That's always true. though? That's true. We kind of it's, it's a okay. Perpetual anyway, <laughs> <laughs> change subject. <laughs> we all have ADHD. This is a... Simon oh, Simon yeah. Junior D, welcome back to the best Dat Network. Hell That's yeah. right. Yeah. Dat, Dat fan best fan. Dat fan best fan. Yeah. So stoked to be in person. I know. Oh, it's so good. Hi KBR. So oh KBR, go to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. your time. Ooh, oh go to sleep. God. I'm uh, ready to stay awake because time zones. It's like 3 a.m. I'm often up till 3 a.m. I have a real hard time getting to bed. He's a early. kid. Yeah, well, you know, maybe <laughs> that's just you know late. how it works. Yeah. You know, Youth is gotta be out. Never go to bed. Especially if you're not supposed to. You heard it here first. Dat fam stay says up. you can yeah. stay up. Yeah. Yeah. Stay yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. It's Friday. No, no, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I think he's still on summer break though, so. Oh, okay. okay. So it's oh, Friday. You, you can stay up. You can stay up. <laughs> you just tell him, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just saying that I think that the world schedule should should stop bending around morning people, and we should start bending the things towards night owls. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it should okay. be fine to get up at 10 a.m. and still get to what you need to do. I'll do you better, no Jason. We need to be getting up any earlier than that. I'll go better. One, 1 p.m. Yeah, sure. That's why not? I want to wake up. You know what? Why that, even, that's what you need. Why even wake, why up, even up, at wake up? Why even wake up at all? <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> this stream got dark. <laughs> Stick with us. We yeah. have lots of fun characters and fun things uh, about to happen. <laughs> I just invested in a bunch of PF2 books, including the new Dark Hive, uh, recent uh, a recent convert from D&D. Can't wait to get to play at some point. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised in Pathfinder. Ooh. It's a good system. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so good. We are yeah. coming up on... Gameplay <gasps> here. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can finish my turn. How do we do? Oh my god, I'm excited. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I do know is that it is six o'clock. It is Tuesday night, Yay! and that means it is time for heroic endeavors. Yay! Yay! And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When the countdown's going, uh, James. <laughs> Four figures sit in a small conference room in the headquarters of Heroic Endeavors Incorporated. Some of them have been licensed heroes for quite a while, with dozens of contracts under their belt. Others are newer licensees who maybe made a name for themselves in smaller outfits until signing on with the biggest and most famous adventuring company in the world. A fifth figure enters the room, an older man with watery red eyes who looks as though he's been crying, though when he speaks his voice doesn't betray any melancholy or huskiness. Um, is this everyone? 
Which of you is Peepa? Oh, that is me. Hi. Would she tell us about Peepa? What are we looking at? So Peepa is a leshy bard. She has like a morning glory skirt, a morning glory uh, feather, a uh, feather, that's not a feather. It's a flower, <laughs> flower in her hair. She's got vines up, up and down. She kind of almost looks like a little Disney princess, but she is a leshy. Um, and she looks so sweet. You just look at her and you just want to like, you know, hug her because she's just so damn cute. But if you piss her off, her teeth come out and she gets mean. But anyway, so you just see her, she's very tiny. She's probably shorter than all of us here. Nope, the tiniest one is uh, someone else. But she's the second shortest. But she is small and always willing to help everyone. Um, yeah, that is me, hi. Very good, very good. And I believe a, uh, a, a Chauncey, Chancy, uh, which of you is that one? Ah, uh, that's me. Hey. Um, and you look over to the corner and you see a rat folk. Um, he's, if you guys like know rats, he's considered a Dumbo rat. So he has really, <gasps> his really big ears, but he Not tucks him up into his little like newsboy cap. Uh, he has, he has it up and he has brown fur that mixes into like a white, like you can see to his hands, it's like a little bit white and everything. He's like, hi. Uh, and then over in the little side, you see like a little like red fire fox. And he goes, ah, geez, get over here. Cheese! Mm. Uh, that's that me and cheese is, cheese is with me. All oh, right, I, I didn't have cheese on my list, but yeah, okay, I that's, understand, yeah? That's fine. Um, and then um, there's a, uh, a, a moon, uh, a moon dust. Um, I, I, what is the, did, did I grab the wrong, the wrong Moon dust, glitter melon, sparkle wishes! Oh. And oh, then okay. you, you look over and from Peepa's hair, you just see, you just see a little like, hi, that's me, present! And um, you see this tiny, tiny little fairy, um, and she uh, has, uh, she's like light purple with like iridescent skin, and her hair is long and purple and pink ombre, and she's got a sparkly dress and basically glitter just everywhere. And she has this little, tiny, little like silver wand that she is holding, and um, yeah, yeah, that's her. <laughs> and then, um, well, my my sheet only had three names on it, but who who are you? Are you uh, oh, uh, one of the licensees? I, I I'd like to be. Uh, my name is Flotsam. Um, I've I've just come in to town and need some work, if I'm being honest. Uh, and Flotsam uh, is a uh, Azarkedi. Uh, he's tall and kind of chubby, like. 40s high school athlete, but let himself go after marriage kind of chubby. Uh, he's got pale cyan and seafoam green skin uh, with small pinpricks of like dark purple along his hairlines and down down his face. Uh, he's wearing tattered linen pants and some like loose fitting reed woven vest uh, that's been dyed like a coral orange color. Uh, and all around him, like necklaces and pinned on and bracelets are these like seashell, combination seashell and like almost refuse that would, would have washed up on shore that he's fashioned into like uh, charm bracelet type things. Uh, he carries a long wooden stick with a big hook on the end of it and a small boarding, uh, small boarding axe at his, at his waist. Oh. That's fine. I, I prefer to work with teams of four anyway. So um, my name is uh, Reginald Weldon, recently promoted supervisor. This is my first briefing, so uh, bear with me. Heroic Endeavors Incorporated is faced with a terrible emergency. The fate of the entire organization rests on your success here today. For you see... I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's difficult to even think about, let alone say. But client has lodged a complaint and applied for a refund. <gasps> I know. I know it was a shock to me as well to think that such a thing could happen. But what are we but heroes? And when heroes face unutterable evil, do they quail in terror? Mm -mm. No, no, they stand and fight. And we will not issue this refund unchallenged. But to fight this momentous threat, I need you four to band together and figure a way out of this. Your work today begins by going to accounts, finding out everything you can about the contract in question, the complaint, and the heroes who first responded to the incident. 
when you get to accounts, have them pull all the files related to this case. And Reginald slides a piece of paper across the table to you, Peepa. Mm. And on that piece of paper, you yes. see the words, the Engelworth curse. The Engelworth curse. Oh, I don't like curses. Yeah, me neither. Me, ne me neither. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh. And that is why you must oh. go to accounts and pull the files so that we don't have to issue this refund. This refund? Okay. Yeah, we can do it. Right, everyone? Is everyone ready? What's a refund? When you return to Perish the thought. Oh. Don't tell her. Just kidding. <laughs> don't even let the, the, the concept enter your innocent mind. They don't exist. Remain as you are. Okay. Does it involve candy? Oh. Not usually. <laughs> I suppose in some instances it could. Okay. To the accounts! To the accounts and the files. Okay. <laughs> Head down to the accounts department, armed with a single lead on this case, and you arrive at a large black double door, seemingly composed of solid obsidian. You can see your own distorted reflections in the pitted, uneven surface of this gleaming edifice, and every instinct you have warns you not to touch it. And yet, touch it you must. Do you touch the door? I like how you stare at him. <laughs> it's gonna, it's all shifty, okay. It's gonna, it's gonna open the door. You know, it's the only way I was able to open this door is thanks to apothecary existence. And it's like a green jar with a bunch of a salad in it. And then he looks at, at people and he goes, oh, uh. No. Uh, did you take those from my friends? Never mind. <laughs> Everyone in here. I, I go to run over and like pick up the glass <laughs> the bottle. And just kind of look at it and go, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just playing with Peepa's hair. It's okay, Peepa. Oh, thank you, my dust. We will talk later, okay? And then she just puts it in her bag. Might, might I, might I, mm -hmm. might I take a, a look at that, please? At my friends? That yes, in yes. The jar? That, yes. Okay. Uh, I'd like to, once I get my hand, I just kind of stare at it for a minute, Jim. Mm -hmm. And then I want to play with this new mechanic from the Dark Archive. Oh, God! <laughs> called uh, uh, Psychic, what is it? Psychic Resonance. <laughs> yeah, I want to read the Psychic Resonance on, on um, these things in here. So you are looking at a jar of poorly made salad. <laughs> it has no Psychic Resonance. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. It's, it, that's all I can tell you. All right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> um, I do not believe these were alive in the sense that we're alive. Oh. How dare you? That is the best potion okay, Magna Ma could ever make. He ate your friends. <laughs> it wasn't a good, it was, they weren't alive. She's gonna just kind of like make sure all her, her leaves are like as close as possible to her body. You see him like, no. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Moon dust, huh? Give him a piece of candy so he doesn't eat me. Oh, I have so much candy. Do you want some candy? Just shove it in his mouth. Okay. And she Whoa. just kind of flutters over and lands on his shoulder and just like throws a candy in his mouth. And it's tiny. It's like the size of a nerd, but she has to like, it's like this big <laughs> in her arm. So she's got to like, bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that flavor? What does it taste like? Not me. <laughs> Watermelon. Oh, wow. You have such a good refined palate for candy just like me. A lot of people always think it's boysenberry. Do you have a cousin named Sunray Gloomy Yellow Darkness Curses? Yes. I, I hang out with her a lot. Your name just sounded familiar. Oh. Well, I haven't really seen her in a really long time, like ever since we were kids. Well, you're gonna see us soon. Oh. I don't know why I said that ominously. I don't you're, know. You're gonna see us soon. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> I don't know why I said <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go inside? Wait, hang on. I we're, wanna we're, get my new I, friend. I'm holding the door. I'm just... gonna flutter on over to, to, what's your character's name again? Flotsam. Flotsam. I'm gonna flutter to Flotsam and I'm gonna just like try to like, 
stay fluttering because I don't have permission to land yet. Hi, new <laughs> friend. Um, I'm Moon Dust Glitter Violet Sparkle Wishes. Oh, uh, hello. I saw you in the plant's hair. Yeah, her name is Peepa and she's Peepa. my best friend. We had yes. a sleepover last night and it was so much fun. Yes. She painted some of my leaves. You want to see? They're like microscopic little dots. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, pretty. Very, very nice. And she's covered in glitter, like. Uh, I know I'm, I'm new to uh, Kavalosha, but uh, is this accounting? No, I'm just trying to make new friends. Do you want a piece of candy? <laughs> uh, uh, could, uh, could I trouble you for some salt water taffy, Butchat? Oh, taffy. Oh. I think, and she rummages through her like little pouch and just like candy's flying everywhere and like so many different variations of colors and stuff. Here, oh, I think I found one. And she gives it to you. It's really tiny. Oh, oh, I will, I will enjoy it. Watch me. It doesn't taste of salt water at all! Well, it, it tastes of fruits! No, it's supposed to taste like candy. I, oh, people. Okay, maybe we should focus on the task we were given. Right, accounts! Maybe that's candy. Oh, or the refund is candy. <gasps> well, I will say that for all of your excellent role play, the chat has awarded what? you with three. Yay! Yay! Put those in the middle. Woohoo! Huzzah! Huzzah! And then. You enter a room lit by flickering torchlight, a notable change from the magically illuminated hallways that you're used to. There is a faint sulfurous smell in the air, and when you look up, you see thousands of glittering obsidian stalactites hanging over you like the upper teeth of some great and incomprehensible beast. Across the room, there is a large stone table, and behind that table sits a great horned devil cloaked in his own midnight black wings. He smiles, but it is not a comforting expression. Oh. Come in, mortals. Welcome to the accounts department. I am Caiferimus, the unholy word, but you may call me Kip. Hi, Kip. I'm Peepa. What oh. do you want? I fly immediately or flutter over to Peepa and I just hide in her hair. Okay. We're looking for a refund. I, I forgot it. I do not give out refunds. What about candy? She closes her hair. What kind of candy? Any kind of candy. Do you have jelly babies? <laughs> <laughs> Those are my very favorite kinds. What flavor? I have lemon, raspberry, blueberry, boysenberry, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry. I think I said raspberry. I want cherry. Oh, I have cherry. She like digs to the bottom of her <gasps> Here you go. <clears throat> and she she doesn't really want to get close to you. Uh, I'll, I'll people, can you? <gasps> and then people will just reach her little hand. Here. Wait. What? Okay. Fay creature. Do you give this to me freely, with no expectations? Uh-oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound good, but everyone deserves to have free candy. Mm -hmm. It's Then free. the accord is struck. No, no! Give me the candy! Yes, Me eat candy. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> now what do you want? Okay, sorry. We're accounts! Yes. yes, you are in accounts. The Why are you in accounts? Nobody comes to accounts without a reason. Uh, we we need paperwork on a job yeah. that is currently asking for a, a refund. Uh, your well, evilness. Kip. His name is. Yes. Kip. What is yeah. what is what is the account? Oh. Um, it says here. Um. Jim. What was the name of it? <laughs> the Angleworth Curse. What is it? The Angleworth Curse. It's the uh. Angleworth's worth worth <laughs> worth curse. <laughs> Angleworth's curse. Angleworth's curse. Ang yes. Indeed. I know this contract. Huh? I can give you access to my infernal archive, but they are vast. And it would take you several of your lifetimes to find what you need. But perhaps you are clever enough to accomplish the task in less time. Or perhaps I could help. Perhaps you would like to make a bargain. A devil's bargain? 
It's not as bad. That is a way of putting it. Mm, that doesn't sound very happy and friendly to me. No, me neither. Um, well, what kind of bargain are we making? Uh, does anybody have, uh, I would accept an occultism check, or I'm if you have like a legal lore. Oh, I have both. It is, oh. I, I, it's up to you which you would prefer to roll. Uh, 23. 23? And, uh, Four, that's a cult. Oh, he got it. Okay. Um, you happen to be quite aware that this particular devil is already bound to do, to fulfill the offices of his duty, uh, or the duties of his office. So if he's asking for an additional bargain, to sh- he's he's not entitled to anything from you. It's it's clearly some kind of trick. Okay. Is he trying to like push off the job onto us? So he's he just trying to, to get it? you to pay him to do something he's already obligated to do. Chant is gonna lean back, slightly reach into his coat. Other other pocket. I think you're already paid to do this job. Why are you making us do it? We're not making you do anything. I just wanted to know if of your own free will you wanted to enter some kind of infernal pact with me. No. Too much to ask? What? No. Mm. Wait, you're already in a pact with someone. How can you do There could be more than one pact. I have a pact. Mm. I have a pact. Ooh, what's your pact? Uh, my pact is with my cousin, Randa. <laughs> oh, I meant like I had a suggestion for a pact that we could do with Kip. Oh. I gotta, hold on, I, I gotta, I gotta talk to Cheese, cause I'm not really, like I can only have one pact, I can't, I can't have multiple packs. Oh, okay, okay, you confer with Cheese, but Kip, I was thinking, what if, what if, and this is a really good one, what if I gave you five cherry jelly babies mm. and one blue, and you help us? Ooh. I had a different offer. No. <laughs> what do you say to, Six drops of your blood. <gasps> no, that would that's like my whole body. Yeah. Minus that's like my minus whole like <laughs> leaf sack. I don't think I would be How about you? I mean it's 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 really fine. The rat already knows that I am obligated to do what you ask anyway. I, uh, you don't actually have to oh, give me anything. To, like, if anybody wants to give me any of their blood though, I, I could use it. No, don't, don't do it. I'm okay. Don't, don't do it. What would you need the blood for? I don't have to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> you, get your, you get your ideas in order, and then maybe we'll talk about it. Well, do you want your files or not? Yes. 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 Fine. Wait yes. here. Okay. Kip storms off into the archives. He needs to learn how you to guys, speak we have Al Wood, a high devil. This is a pretty good day. Why did he want our blood? That's so weird. Oh, he wanted to bind us. To what? Yeah. Like to his will. Like he'd own us. Oh. So, oh, it, no. so when he would die, we would get his stuff. Oh. No, that's marriage. <laughs> I don't want to get married. I remember once there was a little goblin named Oopsie that had a big crush on me. I won't get into that. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a few moments later, uh, the devil comes back and he has in his hands a, a very thin folder uh, with a bunch of papers in it. Puts it on the table and says, There! No files. That's it. That's it. Um, Good. What do they what do they say? Yeah. Would you like me to read them for you? <gasps> that is a like service a I could story? provide I... for six drops of your blood. Or candy. Mm. Kip. Yeah. I really do need the blood, specifically. Oh. Candy was delicious, but Kip, I, what, I... If, what if it's not our blood? Like what if it's someone like does it have to be our blood? Because I can I'll walk out. And get someone else's blood. I mean, if you could get me somebody else's blood. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't say no. Okay. Well, Chauncey like reaches in, looks back and forth, pulls out like a red liquid. And he's like, fresh. Sniffs the vial, tucks it into a pouch of his hands. I will read these for you. Wow. The pact is sealed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Randall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he begins reading a uh, the first thing in, in the the most recent thing on on this case is a complaint. Uh, uh, he reads it to you. Um, uh, there is a complaint filed by one Mayor Theodora Wayne 
of Angleworth, uh, seeking damages. It is, uh, there's a further details section. It says, we didn't order any heroes. We told you to stay out of the tomb. Now everything has gone to hell. You need to fix this ASAP or you'll be hearing from our lawyers. Mm. Oh, I don't want to. So someone messed Wait. with the tombs? Yes. But if they didn't order the heroes in the first place, why would they, they? Why would they need a refund? Mm. That's the word, right? Yes. Checkmate. Oh, chess? Sorry. No, you're good. You're, you're <laughs> fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. this is all good. <laughs> uh, there are some other, uh, there's some other paperwork in there. Um, there is like the, the initial contract um, for, from Angleworth, engaging Heroic Endeavors Incorporated in a service that apparently the claim, or the complaint claims they, they never did. And yet the signatures are, are all there. Um, uh, is there a way to like check like forgery or anything? Yeah, sure. Make a perception check. Oh. That's a natural one. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, everything <laughs> looks to be in order. So the only thing that's incongruous is the fact that the complaint says we never ordered anybody, any heroes. And yet the initial engagement letters are signed by Theodora Wayne, who is also the one who filed the complaint. Mm. And you note that the supervisor who signed off on this contract originally was Reginald, who you recall at the very minimum said, well, this is my first, my first briefing. Yes. So there's definitely some inconsistencies. Even with the natural one, you just noticed like in the information presented, there's yeah. some inconsistencies, but everything looks like it's... Like the, all the paperwork is in order. It just yeah. looks... Yeah, okay. Can I look at the Theodore signature? Sure. Does it list who the initial heroes were? Yes. Ooh. Mm. It's a 13. 13? Yeah, hero points. Yeah, hero points. Yeah. On this... Maybe. I don't know. Easy. What do you guys think? Use it. <laughs> yeah? Use your points. That's what I got. Your points are here. Yeah. yeah. I dare you. I dare you. Uh, it was worse. It was one better. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the. I'll give this to Jim now. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah all, all the paperwork just look. It's all paper. Like, I don't know how much paperwork. Do I notice? Because, yeah. okay. So, what I wanted to look for is like, is it like a swirly signature? It like. What does the signature look like? Which signature is there? Well, is there a signature in particular? Theodore's. Theodore. Uh, so, so the no. It looks like very. Uh, it's very messy. Um, very sharp, pointed letters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you had asked a question. Yeah, yeah. Who were the initial heroes of? The it group? looks like there was a team of four sent out. Um, uh, Sir Philip Trodden is one of the names on the list. Uh, that's the only hero by name. Uh, but if you would like to make a, it's called society check. Uh -huh. If you've, you've heard of Sir Philip Trotton before, <laughs> or anybody who would like to make such a check, you're all kind of looking over these papers. Sweet. Nope. Ooh, plus one. Uh, I'm gonna use a hero point, Jim. Okay, okay sure. Because oh, wow. I want to know. Twenty-three. Natural twenty. Woo! So, there you go. Oh, so modified. Critical. Twenty-one. Oh, wow. Nicely done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are aware that Sir Philip Trotten is a is somebody who's they it's somebody who's sort of at the head of a uh, a squad of four heroes that tend to stick together most of the time in heroic like licensed heroes they just get assigned to various jobs mix and match right but there are four individuals who tend to stick together and almost always take the same jobs um, they're kind of a unknown entity in in the organization um, and. They appear to be the ones who took on this particular contract. And is Reginald the one who assigns the jobs, or he just he's the middleman? He just as far as you know, like he, he's he's somebody who does a little bit of both. He does a lot of briefings, but he'll also like when he when he signs uh, on to oversee a contract, like he'll he'll pick okay. who is going to go on it. Like he picked you your four names, whether it was by design or just out of a hat at random, whoever is available, like. But he would be the person okay. in charge of assignments, yes. Uh, Kip, did it say how they did, like, did anyone die on the mission? There's been there's no, no, there's no additional paper. There's the, 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 the contract was never closed. So the heroes didn't come back and report it closed. And then there's this complaint and you see that the date was for about four days ago. So. Okay. 
How far? How far is Angleworth is is like uh, just outside the city. It would probably take you the better part of a day walking to get there, but it's not. Yeah, there's no reason yeah. we should be back. Okay. It would be fo totally reasonable for them to be <coughs> coming back about now, and the fact that there's a complaint filed leads you to believe, obviously, something has gone semi wrong somewhere. Okay. Hmm. I I think we got to go to the source, and like if we travel by by the source, do you mean? Reg, Reg, Reggie, Reginald, or uh, no, is Mayor, Sir Philip Mayor Wayne, Mayorfold, Mayor Wayne, the guy who formed the complaint, the one with the the tomb that someone opened. Theodore, it? right? Theodore Wayne. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because why would he hire a bunch of adventurers and then claim to not have hired the adventurers? Hmm. It, can I get? Do you do duplicates? Can I get a copy? Would you Is like me to produce <laughs> copies for you? I'm yes. certain we can come to an arrangement. <laughs> I have candy. Yeah. How <laughs> much blood do you have in your coat? He pulls out another vial that says, Rana, stop oh taking God. blood from him. He's getting sick. And like slides it over. Excellent. Uh, Kip snaps his fingers and a copy, an exact replica of the file uh, appears next to it. You must leave the originals here, of course. Of course. Takes those and uh, puts them back in the infernal archives. Wait, I didn't even look at them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, do they, am I being tricked by Kip? Is they this... are in every way an exact copy. Okay. As far as you can tell, an exact copy. An exact duplicate of what was produced before. You know, Kip is kind of a nice guy for a devil. Mm -hmm. I mean, he... As long as you have blood and candy, <laughs> so we should search for blood and candy on our way over there. I will yes. always be searching for candy. Okay. I will always be searching for blood. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes us a good team. Yes. <laughs> Shall we go? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so going where? Somebody had mentioned checking in with Reginald. Somebody else had mentioned just going straight to Angleworth. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to go to the source with Mayor or uh, the Wayne. Okay, right. So you want to basically at that point you'd be ready. You'd be making ready to leave town. Uh, it'll take you again the better part of a day to get there. But it's all really close to the city. Very known roads, known territory. So you don't predict there would be any trouble getting there. Like that should be the easy part. Um, so you head off um, and uh, uh, towards sort of sundown. Let's say it takes you most of it was early morning when you set off. You're getting there later in the day. Um, it's a much smaller town now that you're on the outside of the city. You know, you get some fresh air. The, the noise of the city is far behind you. Um, and you find yourselves approaching a town. Um, and on the outskirts of that town, there is a cemetery. And you see that the cemetery is a flurry of activity. There are people working in teams, digging up graves, hauling bodies. You see them tossing these bodies together in a large macabre pile. And there are other people standing around that pile. They're adding dry brush and kindling to it as if preparing for a bonfire. Oh, oh, they're, bur they're, they're going to, to burn the bodies, not create some sort of giant golem of death. Wait, no, I could use some of those bodies. I mean... No, their blood's bad. No, I guess still, I mean, so, no, not the, I see, that's, no, that's fine. Dumbo Rat, I forget your name, Chouncey? Chow, Chounce, Chounce, Chauncey? He like tucks in his ears. Chauncey. Like, it's Chauncey. Your ears are You're fine. a weird rat. And you're a weird whatever you are. Can we be nice? Remember, we are working together, we are. right? This, you, this is us being nice. <laughs> you guys, I have an amazing idea. <gasps> Hug circle? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what I was going to say. We did that last night. Yes. <gasps> Okay, everyone, grab hands. Okay. You just All see right. like two little hands poke from me. <laughs> I got yours. <laughs> two two little rat paw, little, little rat hands. Okay. And now you want to think the most happiest, most positive thoughts that you can possibly think of. One, two, three, go. Lots the deeps of, of the so sea. Much blood. Yeah. Candy. We did it. You know that really that really worked. I I like. That's nice. Sometimes the best thing to do is to talk about your feelings. Hold on. I want to go back to something the devil man said. Uh, uh, you gave me candy. Mm -hmm. And we're like, I need friends. Mm -hmm. So am I like bound to you as friends uh -oh. now? Uh, I am never I in some really... sort of <laughs> fey deal to be friends? It's just better not to. I, um, I, I never thought about it that way. But do you want to be my friend? I don't not want to be your friend. Great, then we're friends. I guess you guys are friends. 
I have a friend. <laughs> but what about all those parties in the middle? Oh. They probably did not have friends. Oh, shame on you all. Uh, <laughs> while you're standing there uh, uh, doing your hug circle and, and talking about friends and shaming the, the dead, uh, <laughs> some of the townsfolk are like kind of like looking at you weird, and one of them like taps this large uh, half orc woman on the shoulder, and she turns around. And is looking at you, and she's like storming towards you now. I just there are, there are bodies surrounding <laughs> us, and we're like hug circle. <laughs> no wonder they didn't want the heroes there. We are crazy. My new friend told me it's the power of positivity. Yeah, and friendship. Um. Yeah. He like chances got to turn to the woman and go. Oh, so ah. what? More heroes. Oh, she sort of she spits whoa. at your feet. Surprised you even show your face around here. Whoa! Uh, and he's gonna he's gonna cat or he's gonna take a, an action to uh, where I quiet my spell's ability or like where they can't see that I'm doing a spell. Okay. And then do soothe. Soothe. Just breathe. That's a healing spell. Ah, healing okay. Soothe. Calm. Do you have calm? <laughs> do you? Well, I have harmlessly. Cute. I've produced flame. <laughs> we I just cir- we're charm. circled up again. We're circled up again. <laughs> oh, I do have charm. charm. She like snaps your fingers <laughs> as you guys are like in your in your in your. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! So, what did you? Are are you here? Yes. Uh, are we? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, she like pushes Peepa's hair. Um, hi. Oh, they I'm, sent, I'm, they, they, I'm, what, what what are we supposed uh, to do with this? Well, what? This is this like it, my hand is big. Like I could I could swat you. Like what? Wait, you'd have and to first, catch me first. First, it's uh, look. Yeah. I'm Linda's daughter about the spark wishes, and we're looking for the mayor. I am the mayor. Oh, you oh. have found yeah. the mayor. Huzzah! Hey, I take it you got the complaint. Yes. Have you at least come with the money? What's the problem? Uh, well, first of all, we are burning all of our dead because surprise, they tend to come back now. They don't have friends, that's what happens. No, we all are very close community here. Oh, thank you. Oh, you probably be, shouldn't be friends well, with dead people. Leafy hey, person. I mean, <laughs> dead people are cool. Undead so, people. So, wait, are you, bad. okay, so you're claiming that you didn't hire any heroes. No, but absolutely then, not. But Your first crew shows up and they start going on and on about how they're gonna banish evil from the town. They won't listen to anything I have to say. Oh, you got paper? Great, no, no, paperwork. No. Just Good. look at it. Is no, this wait. your signature? I just, I just, I just, it's the archives. Just, you might if you could read that, that those are. Like, That's a contract that you signed. You look, are yes, legally Yes, I filed bound. this complaint. Look, I filed no, no, this, this complaint, the compl- but this I never thing. signed these this, this paper. I ne- we never, okay. we didn't want this? anybody in the barrow. This is. Is there any way I could convince you, maybe, that you could just write your name on this tiny little piece of paper? People, I don't have I'm any not going to be people. signing more documents. No, no, no. We, no, just, want document. we just want to compare your signature that, to the signature that's on here to look, see Look, I if it's signed a the complaint for it. No, no, that's but what about the complaint. job? The, the job is. It, like, yes, and I'm telling you, that signature isn't mine. Oh, I don't know what kind of two bit operation you all are running in the city, but this this is this is fraud now. What's two bit? I think, I think it costs more than two bits. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so as you were saying, the uh, people come back alive. Yes, well now that corpses digging themselves feel... up, so we have to burn everybody in the cemetery. And I'll Ooh. tell you what, the family's not happy about that. Have you tried owlbear milk? What is owl? What? what? Owlbear milk. And he pulls out a pile <laughs> of, of bluish milk. He's like, it stops dead people from coming back. How are they supposed to drink it? They're dead. He like tosses over his shoulder. <laughs> well, what maybe if we uh, took care of the dead thing? We called it a wash. Well, I, 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 I don't know what you're gonna do because again, we, we told you not to go poking around in the tomb. Leave the barrel alone. Well, but, uh, and the wards were in place. You insisted you go down there. No, no. So now you guys are gonna have you to keep... go down there and fix whatever oh. you broke down there. You keep saying you, and I've just met you, lady. <sighs> Yeah, well, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. The heroes from your organizations, your friends who came in to rid the town of evil. Again, evil, that was not a problem for us. It was warded 
It was trapped. There was no issue until so, your friends came so why did and started you hire poking them? around. I didn't hire them. I, That's what I'm saying. Show the document. I, I show you. I'm telling you that is a forgery. That well, is not my signature. Okay. Well, first of all, can I just say, on behalf of Heroic Endeavors, I'm really sorry. Because there has to be some sort of really big mix-up here because we don't know those heroes that you're talking about. And also, we just have the documents that were given. So there's kind of a lot of information that's missing from both of us. So why don't we get to the bottom of this and figure out what really happened? Then would you be happy again? Make a diplomacy check. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, 20, or 12 plus uh, 13. So, 25? 25, okay. She's looking at you, and at first you just see nothing but bafflement and contempt, but then you just keep talking, and at some point she's just like, okay, look, if, if you're here to fix it, I, okay, maybe, it, it, that's, that's fine. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you're right. You aren't the ones who went down in the tomb. It was that that knight and the other ones, they went down there. They went down there about three days ago after we specifically asked them to leave the tomb alone. They insisted they had some kind of warrant to go down there. We, I, 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 I they just went. After that, everything went to hell. People started coming back from the dead. Uh, uh, we've had, we've had, and it's at that moment that there is this unholy shriek in the air. It just rings out over the entire <laughs> town. And it is accompanied by this wash, this like bubble of yellow fog that, that just like billows out over the town. And it, and it dissipates very, very quickly. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't hang in the air, um, but it has this distinctly foul odor to it. And... At that point, you know, the, the the mayor is like, oh, oh, great, okay, here we go again with the, and you can see everybody else uh, has stopped picking up, uh, has digging up bodies, and they're grabbing pitchforks and shovels, and they're looking around, and everybody gets really, really tense, and and the mayor goes, oh, okay, great, it's it's bats this time, it's it, it bats this time, so uh, now firsthand account of what we've been dealing with the last couple of days, and when you look at where the mayor is pointing, sure enough, you see a cloud of giant, no. giant red bats descending upon the entire group of you. Uh -oh. And it is time to roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. We're heroes. Uh, on the calculator. Oof. Oh god. Oof. Oof. Ooh. Oof, oof, oof. Damn. I mean. Oh, okay. It's all right, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's all right. Let's start with Peepa. It's plus perception, yeah? Plus perception at this point, yeah. All right, it's gonna be a big number. 26. Whoa, Ooh. Peepa was ready. Peepa's on fire. How about, about uh, Chauncey? 24. 24 for Chauncey. You guys are doing very well with initiative. And Flotsam? 20. 20 oh. for Flotsam. And Moondusk, Litter, Violet, Park, Malicious. 15. 15. All right, well. Uh, I rolled very poorly, so I'll be going much, much lower than all of you. But Peepa, you see uh, they're, they're still up in the air, but they are shrieking and swarming and descending down upon the people. There are other townsfolk who are like getting ready to, to fight these things off, uh, but you spot them and you can react the quickest. What do you do? How far away are they in the sky? Uh, we'd say like you know, 15 feet high still Oh, perfect. At this point. Yeah. Then I will... Um... Look into the pile of dead bodies and see what's loose there. And uh, I'm going to do telekinetic projectile and shoot it up at one. Okay. Of yeah. Sure. I mean, there's there's plenty of random objects amongst the dead. The dead. Uh, you grab one of them with your mind <laughs> and fling it forward. Go ahead and make a spell attack roll. All right. Uh, that is not good. That is a fourteen. Fourteen is not good. So this this. Uh, 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 heirloom bracelet uh, goes <laughs> flying up into the air and you see somebody go, oh, that was my grandmother. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, but it just flies through this cloud of oncoming bats and, and doesn't strike any of them. Okay, and then with my last um, my last action, I'm going to cast Guidance on Chauncey. 
Chauncey, oh. you've been given a magical boost from your friend Peepa, and it is your turn next. Sweet. Um, Chauncey is going to, how, how far away are they? About 15 feet at the Oh, currently. perfect. Yeah. Uh, he's going to move uh, 10 feet up, and then he's going to start squeaking. He's going to squeak, 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 and uh, cast Haunting Him. Uh, All right. At, at hot, high end. So basically an echo of jarring him that only creatures in the area can him are here. The him deals sonic damage equal to your sk- spellcaster ability. Ability modifier, I need a fortitude save. Fortitude save. I'll say that you can get two of these bats in one, at the edge of your 15 foot cone, uh, and both of them will make a fortitude save against your spell DC. Uh, one of them is looking at, uh, pretty good with a 15. Uh, DC 21. So that's a failure. And the other <laughs> one uh, got a 23, so that is a success. Oh, success okay. Again, so so uh, one is deafened for one minute. Oof. Uh, and yeah, then one, uh, they both take, are, one takes five damage, one takes two damage. Two points of damage. All right. He's going to have Cheese jump at his trench coat. Get in here, Cheese! One of them looks seriously disoriented. Yes. You know, the one that the one that was deafened, uh, I don't know, bats, uh, bats kind of rely on hearing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of an important thing mm-hmm. for them. So so it is Chauncey's like, not, it, 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 as it's diving down, it gets extremely disoriented. It just starts flapping around, uh, and, and it just seems to, to go completely haywire as it loses all sense of where it is in the space. Uh, flotsam. Uh, <clears throat> it's like a, a group of... Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. there's there's do- maybe a dozen bats. Okay. Uh, you would say there's, like, three of them that are actually coming at your group. The rest of them are, are starting to, okay. to go down towards the rest of the townsfolk. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Produce Flame, but I'm going to amp it. Amp, amp one with my new psychic powers. Psychic powers, powers huh? Which which ups, ups the damage and mm-hmm. creates some Ooh. splash action, too. Uh, so you see, you see he starts to... He doesn't, he doesn't speak when he starts to cast, but you see these colors start to dance around uh, his head in, in elemental uh, waves of like some heat lines and some mist starts to, to dance around uh, as he just kind of pushes forward this flame that flies from his hand towards these these bats. Sure. Uh, 19 on the dice! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that is not merely a hit, that is a critical yes! hit. Yes! Oh, yes! Get that bat. Uh, I don't know what it does. I don't think there's anything special. Double damage. Oh, double damage. Yeah, yeah, double damage. Double damage. Well, some and then things persistent. Persistent. Some things are fancy. Uh, you will also be dealing persistent damage. Nice. All right, so let's see here. So we've got, it's, ooh, that's, uh, it's, it's okay damage. A uh, total of 15 damage plus three splash damage. So double it, 30 and six. Well, you incinerate the bat that you hit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Like it just, it just, it's gone. Uh, it was there and then it's gone. Uh, the bat that was nearby is the one that was deafened and it's gonna get splashed by the fire uh, and it's gonna take some additional damage. And then one of the other bats that was swooping down at your group is also hit by that splash damage. Uh, but it was not already wounded, so it's only gonna take a little bit. Uh, but still, uh, a tremendous well, spell. Well, yeah. I just read a thing because it's a heightened cantrip amped. It, the persistent damage is 1d4 additional. Does the splash also deal persistent damage? Yeah. Oh, all right then. Yeah. <laughs> so, Okie dokie. Uh, plus, plus four. So the persistent damage will take, at the end of each of its turns, it'll continue to take persistent damage. So yeah. I'll just mark which one that they're taking persistent damage. When we get to them, they'll just start to burn. That was a that was a two action. Two actions, you got one action left. Uh, I think what I'll do is draw my, my gill hook ready okay. if they come into melee range. Excellent. Uh, and last up for the hero side, Moon Dust, Glitter Violet, Sparkle Wishes. How high up are they? They're still about 15 feet. They haven't gotten to go feet. yet, so they're... Sweet. And how close are they together? Uh, well, two of them, uh, I would say that the one that got incinerated was sort of in the middle of the pack that was coming, so they're maybe... You know, they're, there's a there's a five-foot gap between them. Okay. Moonus is going to uh, kind of like peek out from Peepa's hair and look up at all these scary bats, and she's going to kind of like shoot her hands upward, and she's still holding her like little wand, 
Um, and she's going to cast Shockwave. Ooh, okay. Ooh. But, yeah. but I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to do this first or after, but it's an action for me to use my feat of Widen Spell. Okay. So, so it, that action gets added to just the casting time for your... Sweet. Your, so I however, however mm-hmm. that particular spell specifically mm. only affects the ground. These creatures are in the air. Oh, what? Oh, There's no. a shockwave uh, through the earth. No! Creatures what? gotta be on the ground. But no! They gotta be on the ground. How dare Dang you it. use okay. the Dugan's Law. Um, hmm. I don't think I have anything. Like, there was no backup plan. I just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just there wasn't any backup the plan. Whole turn. Um, uh, oh geez. Okay, I'm just going to, I'll hold my action then. We're just gonna hang out for I'm a minute. I'm gonna hold right. my action. We're just gonna hang out for a second. Uh, it is at that moment then that the bats get to go. Oh, no. Two of them now, because the group of three has been reduced to two. Uh, they swoop down. One of them is going to try to pluck the, f- the, the flowers from Lufa's <gasps> hand. No! The uh, fruit bats! And attack, <laughs> one action to come down, another action to attack. Oh with a vicious bite. Oh. oh no. That is going to be only a 16 to hit, so I'm pretty sure that's nope, not gonna do that it. Doesn't yeah. hit. That is absolutely not gonna do it. Uh, I might as well take, uh, it's gonna then try to, to buffet you with its wing, uh, and that is going to be a 17 to hit. So it no. misses on both attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other bat, uh, it doesn't like all that fire. It does not like but all that fire. there's a rat. It's gonna it come rhymes. down and try to attack Flotsam. Flotsam with the bite. Oh, three on the die, no good. And then I might as well try to buffet you with the wing, too. We're not going to talk about that second roll. I'm just going <laughs> to let it go. Um, they both take persistent damage at this point. So yeah. go ahead. What was the damage that they Pers- take? Persistent four. Persistent Ooh. four points of damage as they continue to burn as they're flapping <clears throat> around like mad. And then they will both make, uh, they get an automatic as a DC 15 flat check to end persistent damage. So I'll make it for both of them. 15 on the die. So one of them extinguishes, all, it, all its flailing manages to extinguish the flames. The second one, 14 on the die. So it is not able to extinguish that flame and it will continue to burn through the next round. Yeah, I'm you ready. Have a backup plan. I have a, I have a plan. <laughs> I just need a backup need plan. plan. Okay, so um, uh, I guess the closest one. I would well, like... Well, there's one attacking Flotsam mm. and one attacking... The closest one, if you're still riding attacking on Peepa's people. flower, is attacking Okay, I'm, I'm going to be like, hey, you leave my friend alone! Mm-hmm. Tell him! And I'm going to cast Spout. <laughs> but Spout is also considered um, a cube, so yeah. does that Well, not... no, so so that way it, it erupts from the ground, but it erupts in a cube, so it would, be able, it would come up to hit the bat. Right. I'm asking about if I can use my Widen spell, because Widen spell is for... Uh, burst cone or line? No, for a for a cube it wouldn't. Okay. Bad. I mean, maybe it does, but I don't think so. And you would probably okay. not want to wide it onto yourself anyway. It would be that way. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's a reflex. Reflex save. <clears throat> Natural twenty. No! Oh! I, mean, I think you want to use a hero point. Nah, I'm good with I my heard. current result. Hero points are for the heroes. Mm. Uh, I believe, is there any effect on a critic? Sometimes there's still an effect with a critical save. So um, if there's anything? No. No? Okay. Uh, in that case, you have one action left. D- nope. I'm just hiding behind just, people. You just hide back with yeah. people's flowers. <laughs> Oh. We're heroes! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see this gout of, of water erupt out of the ground, but the bat uh, just sort of flutters around it. It's completely unfazed as we move into the top of the second round. Peepa, yes. you've got a bat right up in your business. How do you respond? Right up. Um, if it's right up in my business, then I'm going to... Let's see... Uh, uh, I'm gonna grab for my weapon. Can I, if it's right up there? Yeah, you can. You can hit it with a weapon. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we're stopping. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to grab my. Let's see. My rapier. Okay. And then try <laughs> <laughs> with my hair. And then try and stab it. All right. Take a stab. Moon does go spawn. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Wait. Doesn't count there. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, zero point. Hey, there's zero. You can use zero point. That's true. 
Um, yeah, let's try. Let's do All it. Right, let's, let's do, do it. it. We, yeah. have, we have them. No, no, that's to you. Sorry. We'll give me the hero point. Okay, be nice. 13 plus 9. Ooh. That is exciting. Yeah, this thing, uh, it is It is flapping around your head. It's, it's kind of trying to come in for it, find an opening for another bite, and you just stab it right in the belly. Go ahead and yes. deal damage. Yes. That is a 3. 3 points of damage. 3 little points. What a pinprick. Yes, I know that's it. Um, is that 2 actions? Yeah, you drew a weapon and you stabbed, so you've got one action left. I touch uh, Moon Dust and I go, Guidance! Guidance! You get Guidance. That'll be a plus Huzzah! one to an attack roll. Yeah. Huzzah! Or something. I don't know, you know what Guidance does. Uh, that takes us to our favorite scamming rat. Wait. <laughs> uh, Chauncey's looking back and forth. He's like, Ah, no, I didn't want to do this. He pulls out his coat pistol. He's got a gun! Chauncey <laughs> aims it at the bat. He's like, you're going down, bat! And he oh fires, the, wow. fires the coat pistol. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a, ah, oh shoot. It's a natural one. Who are you next? It's a natural you one. Uh, you're I'm going to use my hero point. I'm going to use my hero point. I'm going to use my hero point. Six. No, it's a six. Uh, 17. 17. Uh, almost. You almost wing this thing. Wait, does guidance still work? No, you uh, no, didn't use it last. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you didn't use it last round. It's over. You wasted it. <sighs> Chauncey, you fool! One action le- uh, reaches into a pocket and <clears throat> throws a little like ginseng and lemon. He's like, ah, it'll help you. <laughs> and cast guidance on people. Guidance on people. Guidance all around. Yeah. Guidance for everyone. Guidance, guidance, guidance. Guidance, guidance, oh, yeah. guidance. You've thrown the blood of her ancestors upon her. <laughs> <laughs> he basically just garnishes Peepa and tells her she's going to do great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Flotsam. All right, I'm going to try the, the... It's a free action to activate my Psy Strike, which I can do after I cast a spell. Okay, so, you cast a spell last round, so you uh, can activate your Psy Strike. And then I'm going to try and attack this with my, my Gill Hook. Cool, with the yeah. added flame resonance from my previous spell. This guy's already on fire, and now you're going to hit him again with more fire. Uh, do I think a 21 is enough? I, th- I feel like, all right, we're going to go, yeah. yeah you, you, you hit with a 21. Uh, you get the bill hook right up in its business, uh, uh, slashing one of its wings. What's the damage look like? Real, real lot. Uh, <laughs> real, real lot? Real, real lot. 15 damage. Good, 15 points of damage. Almost max damage. This yeah. thing is on fire, and it is, uh, you just tear a gash in its wing, and it's trying to flap even harder to compensate now, but it's just losing blood, uh, and it's and it's singed, and it's, it's just very, very badly hurt. Very badly hurt, but it is still in the air and still a threat. Yeah. Uh, Actually, ha! I'm going to use a reaction. Ha ha! I react! Because when an adjacent enemy damages the bat, it can make one or two wing strikes. One against you, the triggering creature. It's going to try to buffet you with its its good wing. Uh, With a 16. Negative, sir. So yeah, it's just just like, ah! It's flailing (laughs) around. And uh, it snaps out at you, but can't connect. Now you can take the rest of your turn. Uh, it, it, It like snaps out and tries to get me, and I just reach up and grab it. And try to push cold energy through with chill touch. Oh no! Ooh. Nice. Go ahead nice. and make. Uh, is is that an attack roll or just a fortune uh, save for me? I believe it's an attack roll. It's a touch attack. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Make a spell attack. Spell attack. Spell attack. Twenty unnatural. Twenty is a success. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Uh, fortitude negates. Uh, fortitude, pretty decent on the fortitude save. That's a 24. 21 is my AC, so. Okay. Well, there's, if it's a basic save, there's usually still an effect, even oh, with a well, successful save. Well, let's double check. Yeah. Uh, saving throw. It says saving throw in the gates. Um, yeah, nothing. Because it's a, it's a, uh, cantrip, technically, so. Uh, that's sad. You see, like, the blue glow, and it gets chilly, and he's just like, I'm a bat. (laughs) That's all of my actions. 
All right, uh, so then we move on to... Me. Actually, you oh, moved no, in the bad. order because you withheld last turn, so it is the bat's oh, turn. no, I don't like this. Uh, oh, no. The one that you just tried to chill touch is going to go ahead and try to bite you. No, don't do it, Jim. Uh, 17. I'm not rolling well. Then it's going to try to strike you with the wings. Good lord. Okay, this, yeah. is, this is embarrassing. We have um, invincible. Great. And then it is going to flap... Uh, it is going to try to get away because it's on fire, bleeding profusely. Can't seem to do anything, so it's going to try to get away from you. It just flaps away, uh, but it will take persistent damage. Uh, so it's going to continue to burn, burn and then I'll make burn. the flat check to see if that ends or not. Uh, 15 on the die, so it stops burning. It flies away from you, and it stops burning. Uh, but it only gets uh, like 30 feet away from you. So it is still it is still in the air, still in the region, but it is we can fleeing it. quickly. We can do it. Uh, the one that is uh, over near Peepa, mm -hmm. it sees, it sees like something no. darting around on her head oh. and tries to just oh. gobble that. That's a very precise, just a yeah, very precise. Yeah, roll a precision <laughs> check, Jim. Uh, 21 to hit. No, you miss. I miss. I'm a 22. Uh, Whoa. And she was hiding. Get wrecked. Awful. <laughs> yeah, Awful. Consume it. <laughs> Uh, and then I will try to bash Peepa with the wing. That's oh. rude. 20 even. Yes, but I have Blood Vendetta, so I'm going to do it back to you. Ooh, yeah. Get uh, oh, wait, can you? Hold do you on. have Blood Vendetta? I do. Do you? I do. That sucks. What do you mean that Ooh, sucks? Yeah, that's <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's not right. on our team. You might, this might, yeah, I, I'm not rooting for you. Really. <laughs> but you should. Wait, are you doing piercing, slashing, or... I don't see Whoa. Blood Vendetta on your spell list. Where did you, where are you coming from? It's on Whoa. like my app. Oh, did you did you update your character sheet and not send it to no, me? No, I sent you this one. Uh, just see it. Okay, okay, fine, look, I don't have to, okay, I won't have but Blood Vendetta. if you want to cast Blood Vendetta, you can cast Blood Vendetta. I won't that's do fine. it. It's fine, it's all good. First take a little bit of damage and then cast your spell. That's fine, that's uh, fine. You take five points of damage as it, as it gets you with the wing. Uh, and then tell me about Blood Vendetta. Okay, I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, blood Vendetta, let's see. Um, it's a saving throw. Will it's a will save on your part. A will save. Yes, good sir. I've been doing good on my saving throws, just nothing else. So let's see how this one goes. Um, Sixteen. Nope, you got it. Nope. I mean, I meant nope. You're getting it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> no, you're dead. dead. No, I'm no, gonna get dead. it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so it's two to six, so that's five, six. I believe it just starts, it starts to bleed, so at the end of its turn, wait, you're doing a reaction, so at the end of its turn, it will take this damage. Sorry, I'm, I'm confusing myself. You're good. It's okay. It's been a long time. Excuse Seven. Me. Seven points of damage, and it'll continue to bleed. Yes. Until it dies. And, well, no, to, um, assistant damage, I must attempt a will save. The will save failed next... to save. Right. Okay, so then you just... Well, no, persistent bleed damage means that it will continue to take damage. Okay. So it's it's just going to continue bleeding. Okay. Yeah. However, at yeah. the end of my turn, which That's it is right. now, I get a flat check to see if that just ends, oh, which it probably on. won't. Uh, no, with an 11 on the die, it doesn't end. It just continues bleeding. It's just blood <laughs> everywhere. There's so much blood. If you collect yeah. a lot of this, Kip is going to be... Mm. You know, doing favors for you for I'll months. It'll be all over my leaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, that is uh, Moon Dust. Okay. So the one that just tried to hit Peepa. Yes. I'm gonna be like, hey, that wasn't very nice. And then I'll whisper to Peepa, good job Peepa, you're doing so good. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot another spout and attempt to hit it. So give me a reflex. Spout, you're spouting <laughs> again. Uh, reflex save, <clears throat> 18. You fail. Okay, <laughs> what happens to me when I fail? You take damage. Remember you have the guidance on you. Yeah, but that's for an attack roll. I didn't do an attack roll, right? It's correct. Mm. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a reflex save. All right, you take, uh, oh wait, no, you only need three. Um, 3d4 plus four. So six, seven plus four. 11. Uh, 11 points of damage and uh, you obliterate this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this jet of water comes up and just batters its body into Yay. pulp. And when the, when the water dissipates, the bat just flumps down onto the ground. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's blood everywhere. It's all over uh, Peepa. It's no. all over Moon Dust. Now. Uh, uh, just yeah. bat blood everywhere. It's super gross. Uh, uh, look, Peepa, it went to sleep. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> we should put sleep. it in that pile later. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. With all the rest of the sleeping people. Yes. At this point, there are no more bats attacking you. However, you notice that some of the townsfolk are still being assaulted. There is, in fact, a man not but 20 feet away who has two bats that look like they're attempting to clutch them in their little talons and lift him oh. up into there. And he's screaming, and he had a pitchfork in his hand, but he's dropped it at this point, oh. and it looks like he is in desperate trouble. <laughs> and at that moment, yes. we'll go ahead and take a small break. Ah! Ah! Jim Jam! Going somewhere? I was just looking for you. Hmm. How lucky for you then. It's quite a big price on your head. Is the money really worth all this? It's not about the credits. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I bet you have. You're not getting the drop on the villains with sounds like that. Your game needs Sirenscape. The Sirenscape online player has a huge library of epic sounds for any situation. Whether your players are cruising across the galaxy or blasting bounty hunters, Sirenscape brings the game to life. Epic games need epic sound. Go to Sirenscape.com to get started today. Every day, millions of people face heartbreak in the form of a silent killer. I'm talking about character death. I'm talking about malicious dice. Failed saving throws, critical misses, failed skill checks. Malicious dice can strike any character at any time, and the results are devastating. I only got to play Celestia for one session. I kept failing. Roll after roll after roll. And then... And then I got eaten by an aberration in the dark. I couldn't roll anything above a five. The dice just... Diana's tragic story is far from unique. The time to do something about malicious dice is now. And Tabletop Loot knows how to help. They're providing quality, affordable dice jails and shipping them to players in need across the nation. Go to tabletoploot.com today and order a dice jail for yourself and anyone you feel may be threatened by malicious dice. These safe, secure, and humane facilities will keep your tabletop safe from the kind of dice that don't care who they hurt. But it's not about giving up on your dice. Rehabilitation is possible for many of these viciously low rollers, thanks to Dice Jail's tabletop reintegration plans. It's time to stand up for our characters. It's time to put malicious dice where they belong. Great and mighty Dark One, hear my summons. Bring plague and misery unto this wretched world and be born again in the blood of this unworthy servant. What are you guys doing in here? Oh. Huh? Nothing. I thought you said no one was at home. Nobody's supposed to be home. When do you get out of here? No, why are you wearing dresses? This is not There's a... There's a pentagon on the wall. That's a pentagram. That's a pentagon. It's a pentagram. Gone. Pentagram. Gone. It's a pentagon that has to have a star to be a pentagram. Are you guys forming a cult? We are summoning a god of pain and destruction to rain misery on my stupid stepdad for being a total boner. Sick. And Kyle Bates, because he ruined the next season of Game of Thrones for me when I specifically told him I hadn't read the books. Douche. Is there going to be a human sacrifice? Yes. No. What? Whatever. I'm in. You can't 
No. Just be in. Like, there's there's a whole process. Let me in your call. I'm going to tell Leonard about the time I caught you trying on my bras in my room. What? what? No. Wait, that's not how you do no. that, is it? Uh, let me in your call, or I'll tell mom that you used her candles for a satanic ritual. No, no, no. no. Go back to the part about him no, trying to That didn't happen. There, in season four of Game of Thrones, that? Tyrion and. Season you can be in the cult. What? Thank no, you. she could not be in the I'm cult. I'm definitely in the cult now. Thank you. I'm going to put up with this? I do have a knife in my hand. She does have a knife. That's a good point. Okay. God. Um, everyone gather. You're gonna, you're gonna cut your hand and give an incantation to the dark void. <clears throat> oh, dark monster thing. Bring sadness. You know what? This is dumb. Can we get to the part with the human sacrifice? There's no human sacrifice. Dude, you what? Have to have one. You have to have like a fatted calf. Yes. No. Or a unicorn. Why are you agreeing yes. with her? Or a virgin. Absolutely. We can use Leonard. No, you can't use me, guys. I'm totally not a virgin. All right. Not a virgin. I've, I've done the totally. sex. Describe it in detail. Uh, there's two Step of us. One. Step one. Step uh, one. Man loves a woman. And I'll take that. And plus, this one was trying to bras in my room. Pretty sure, still a virgin. We could kill Alan. And we can kill Alan. Kill Alan. No, we're kill not Alan. killing anybody. Cut your hand. Put blood in the bowl. One more fun. Wait, did one of you already use this? No. Because I would bet money that one of you is a leper. This is why I didn't want her to be in the cult. I didn't want her in the cult. I don't want you in the cult. It's not your cult. It is now. You know what? Fine. I don't want to do this anymore. There is no cult. <laughs> no cult. Leonard. You're a nightmare. I'm a hero. I just saved the entire world from your evil cult. What? Okay, good. My dad needs his bowl. <laughs> no cult. Be done. Leonard! Excuse me. You're a nightmare. I'm a nightmare? I just saved the world from your evil cult. Get out of here. My Get out of here. My dad needs his bowl and his letter opener. I'm going to get that back. I'll get it to you. I'll see you later, Tuesday. You got white Your stuff. friend sucks. Are you okay? I'm so sorry about the last. Are right? Fine. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. There are legends of a mighty forge where the greatest tabletop weapons are smithed by expert crafters from the finest of materials. Only the strongest of adventurers may wield such relics. Weapons and armor forged from the strongest metals. Mystic foci for the forces of fate, carved from the finest stone and unique treasures that cannot be found anywhere else in the realms. But beware, <laughs> the forces of evil may find dark and powerful relics of their own in the online armory. Arm yourself with these gaming relics and equipment to take your tabletop adventures to exciting new dimensions. Go to NorseFoundry.com now to arm yourself with the finest weapons in the realms.
from hey everybody welcome back it wasn't me this time <laughs> <laughs> uh we're back we're gonna play some pathfinder uh, in just a little bit we're gonna we're gonna finish up this customer complaints episode but before we do that why don't we uh, spend some time chatting with chat let's let's take a couple of minutes and see what you all out there have to say James about things i don't know oh my look at all this oh look at all, this. Look at all those comments oh wait 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 are they no yes no uh malice 1974 says love the dm screen yes this is from Dogmite. I mean, we got yeah, yeah, this it's one. Dogmite. They made this for our other Dat Network productions a long time ago. We've had it. It's, it's really beautiful and nice, and it's lasted us through quite a few shows. They even yeah. custom did the Lego rail. Oh yeah, this is actually our. Oh uh, yeah, we have the Lego rail because we had minifigures yep. for other shows, and then they they did our logo on the front of it, so it was really nice. Uh, Zach Attack seventy seven says rule number one: always touch the things. Touch the things. Always touch everything. Yeah, yeah. When you came at us with uh, the the like. The obelisk. I was like, uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I was just dead. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, chaos, chaos algorithm. You were asking what my muse was. Um, mine is polymath, which I uh, put it in chat. Um, wow, put it in chat for you if you saw it. But if not, then there we go. Um, Kuagare! Hey, Hello. Kuagare! I want to try out second edition. It's so yeah. good. It's so yeah. good. I like it. Absolutely Craig's in the chat! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Craig! Craig. Oh, hang on. People oh. hang out in real life. What year is this? 2022! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation. Malice 1974. Uh, where could someone get one of those awesome dice bags? I'm liking, liking the blue one. Next to Jim Jam. We have oh. so many that, like, I don't even yeah, know yeah, this that is the I in know. Your cups, oh, that was a custom, that was a custom one that I, yeah. I did for, uh, so, so it was a gift to somebody in our, in our I crew. I think it was yeah. yeah, yeah, so that was, that was a custom <laughs> dice bag. I think it was literally customdicebags.com is where I ordered it from. Oh, nice. Wow. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very uh, out there name. Yes, um... It's Lucas Martina says, everyone knows blue is the best flavor of jelly babies. It's Lucas yeah. Martinez. Hi, how you doing, Hi, buddy? It's been Anybody so long. Easy? I, I'm going to go counter to the blue. Well, I mean, unless it's like sour cherry. Well, because I think it's, well, I think the blue is like a blue raspberry. Usually, yeah. I okay. much want, yeah. want a cherry. It's just, yeah, that's called, it's just called blue. You don't hey, know it is. Dark Knight in the chat. Jim embracing the craziness. I love I haven't gotten to embrace craziness in a while, so yeah. it's a bit of a release, you know. We feel a little tame today. Feels well, we feel, yeah, we, we were talking about it. We feel tame, tame compared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did bring out a gun. <laughs> yeah. uh, we did have a gun. I escalated a with a gun. this very quickly. Yeah, yeah, that was so cool. uh, Kevin Alexander, hi. It's so nice to have a dat stream again. I've missed it so much, and so have we. We've definitely yeah. Kevin. Hey, Kevin yes. Alexander. Uh, Jim, we're gonna get a picture with your face on it. For what? Uh, oh. Said something. Uh, the pact is is sealed. The pact is with sealed. Just evil Jim. Yeah. Jim. <laughs> ah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, JD Hood ninety two. You get guidance. You get guidance. Everybody gets guided. I was looking at all your spell lists before, and it's like you all have so many crossover spells. Like you yeah. can all just chain cast yeah. the same <laughs> spells. <laughs> Look at all these redemptions we have too. I know. Ooh. Got hero points from from Malice, from what is that? Nate Smack, nineteen ninety five. Penguin Witch Doctor. We got a hero point from Legend of Katie. Oh, oh. how how could we get that? We need them. <laughs> <laughs> I can give us like JD Hood? so many more. Go oh. Jordan. Should we put more in the thing? Thank you for those. It looks like you've currently got two group hero points in nice. the pool. Oh, okay. So we need to calculate. Thank you. Uh, and then we got a bunch of toss a coin. People out there giving giving some coinage out. Uh, I don't quite know who those go to yet, but there's some coins on the table for some peoples. That's a coin. I don't even know you. Which means we can, because it's a gold coin, specifically said. No, it's and Pathfinder 2. That's a lot of money. Silver economy. You have to report all of your earnings to HEI and they take a cut. So it's like, you know, what you actually Whoa. get after taxes is what you end up with. This is how they get you. I'm, <laughs> in, for life. Get you. I'm in for life just gave us the hero point right now. <laughs> I just saw Steven and Jay. Look at all those hero points, Steven. Uh, Isaac J. 35 says, you guys are doing great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Looks like Peepa, Katie, Diana, yeah. Jared, Diana get gold coins. Ooh. Whoa. So Thanks. does that go in our inventory, Jim? Yeah, you get gold coins. Okay, hold on. I got to count. One, two. 
<laughs> three. I get three. three gold points. Thanks. Guys. Uh, Lemon two one eight also at Lady uh, Legend of Katie. Yeah. Wings are perfectly on point. Thanks. Yay. They are pointy. As someone who stop touching keeps, them. Yeah, keeps getting stabbed. Moon just glowed about the sparkle wishes. <laughs> can't even hold a gold coin. So. I'll hold it for you. <gasps> Thanks, Peepa. Mm -hmm. So do you get paid in like quarters? Candy. Like, like half. Like, oh wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, you got five minutes until we get back into this. What's the last thing you're going to say? Oh, no, it's... It, you, it's, it's, it's seconds. Oh, it's seconds. Aww, and... And now you have to play the game. Yay! Wah, wah. Yay. <laughs> Chauncey's waving his gun no, around. No, no, no. Got to get the gun everywhere. No, no, no. Where we left off, you were... You had you had fought off these giant bats that are apparently brought on by some horrible curse over the town of Angleworth. You, you've beaten off the bats that were coming at you. However, you see that one of the nearby townsfolk is about to be lifted off of his feet, probably torn apart limb from limb. What do you do? It can is we, the top of the next round. It can add to the pile. Peepa, <gasps> you can act. What are you going to do? I mean, I was going to suggest it can add to the pile, mm. but... No. Just add it to the file. <laughs> Dude, do you have a friend? <laughs> this is this is Crucial. real important. This is real important. No, 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 no. Um, how far away is? I mean, that he's person? like twenty feet away. From you. Oh, perfect. They're close to the ground. They they've got him in their clutches. They haven't lifted off yet. It looks like they're they're okay, starting great. to beat their wings really hard. Like they're about to take off with him. So I would like to look into the pile and see mm -hmm. what else I can chuck at the bat. Sure. There's a there's an old dagger just lying there. Oh, perfect. I will see if I can lift up that dagger with an eleven plus eleven is twenty two. Twenty two. Not only can you lift up the dagger, but it was it was it was attached to like an old, uh, decrepit, uh, <laughs> rotting hand. So the whole hand just <laughs> really pops sorry, off guys. the wrist. And the, the knife and the hand go flying forward, striking Ooh. this bat square. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. I'm trying to help you. I can just yell to the person. Uh, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points of damage. The bat is is bloody and shrieking madly, but it still looks like it's going to try to take this person away unless Chauncey okay. can stop him with his gun. Oh, you have an extra action. May sorry. I send guidance to uh, Flotsam? Flotsam, you get guidance. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Chauncey, with his gun in the air, is gonna sigh. You really have a gun? He's... Yeah. Uh, you, got it. you see, you look over and Chauncey has a gun. A a what kind of gun is it? It's a coat pistol, so it's like the little, it's like a little... It's like it's a, a derringer? Yeah, yeah, yes. It's a water yes. gun. Yes, right. yes. Uh, and he's like, ah! And so he's like running with the gun, Shouldn't but he goes and he yeah, goes no, no, and no. tries to touch the bat and cast chill touch. All right, chill touch. So I am going to roll that save, fortitude save. That is going to be a twenty-four. Oh. So resists your dark magic, and you moved and you cast uh. that spell. So that was all three of your actions. This guy might be doomed. Flotsam, can you save this poor villager? Uh, I lock eyes with the bat. And my eyes get a little get a little focused in mm -hmm. as I do a psychic burst into his head. Uh, you get a uh, a thing. A thing. Uh, yeah, a thing. Uh, a reflex save. Basic reflex save. Basic reflex save. Uh, ooh, that is going to be a total of twelve. <laughs> a basic's fifteen, right? Basic is, no, basic Basics is whatever 10. your spell DC is. Oh, oh so it's against I, your spell DC. I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. My spell DC is 21. Almost a critical failure, but not quite. Okay, so, so he's, he's going to take 3d4 bludgeoning Ooh. of mental damage. 3d4 mental bludgeon. Ooh, All threes. Oh! So nine oh. damage. Nine damage, and its head explodes. Yeah. Wow. Floor. The other bat, uh, unable to lift the villager up on its own, lifts off into the sky. You can see this cloud of bats is now receding from town. And as they recede from town, they actually start to just fade away. And you see, they almost just like disappear and like become smoke. And everything clears up. That weird rotting smell just goes away. <laughs> You can see that a lot of the villagers who are around, they're sort of like dusting themselves off. They're checking on their friends. Uh, Theodora, Wayne, the mayor of Engelworth, approaches you again. And you can see this time, she doesn't seem quite so angry. She doesn't seem quite so put off. You know, she seems a little tired. 
thank you for that. Um, as you can see, we've been, that's been happening like once every couple of hours. Sometimes it's the bats, sometimes the dead wake up. We've had uh, uh, dogs with no flesh come at us. Um, we've had people turn into puddles of acid. I mean, it, it's just every time it's something. We just, look, I, I understand you didn't cause this, but surely you feel some responsibility. I mean, it was your organization. We're just asking for some help here. We just need you to put this right. Heepa! Yes! No wonder it was called a curse! This town is cursed! Oh! Yes? You don't have to raise your hand. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, can you tell us what happened to the, the crypt? Or the dungeon? Whatever, whatever the thing is? Two. Like, how, yeah, how to get there. How to Sure, I, my, my, my understanding of the history is a little vague, but there was a, a priest who uh, 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 decided that he was going to become uh, something of a, of, a, of a king, I guess. He decided he was going to, uh, he had this big following. He started very small um, and, and he was going to create sort of like a theocracy, I guess, in the region. Um, it, it, this, is a, this was a small area even back then. I mean, it, it all fell apart because mm -hmm. once, once people actually got wind of what was going on, I mean, some say I think he would have died mysteriously. Maybe maybe his god uh, uh, smote him, or or maybe he just tapped into some power that he wasn't ready for. And either way, the point is he died, and and our ancestors buried him in a tomb, warded it up, and just left it there. And it's never caused any problem for us. I mean, we kind of sometimes forget it's there. We just don't go near it. Nothing bad ever happens. Then, as I mentioned heroes show up saying that they have some kind of warrant or something to enter the tomb and I, I think they thought there was treasure down there but the thing is like I you, you don't have to raise your hand this oh. isn't school well I saw that he did it anyway um <laughs> oh school was really fun I kind of wish this was like school I went to unicorn school anyway um when did this start happening before or after the heroes came here oh the curse stuff this is like Day three. This happened oh. right after your people went down in that tomb. <gasps> we should go to the, the tombs. We should figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. happened to the heroes? They haven't come back. We assume they died and now there's a curse unleashed. Have you looked at all the bodies to see if they're in there? Well, they would have come back out. We would have noticed that. And well, these are all went in? All of these bodies we just dug up from the cemetery. We had to because some of them were coming back and eating the people who were alive. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if this crypt's coin is like... You, you guys know. It's it's the thing that like, it's it's not really worth something until you put a price on it and then you sell it to someone for a higher price. Crypt coin? <gasps> like candy! Yeah, cut, well, no. No. Oh. <laughs> is, there, is there a lot of money? Script coin? I mean, they're, yeah. I mean, not right now. It's kind of on a collapse. Uh, oh, oh. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's going to go up. You just got to buy the dip. Oh, oh. I like dip. It's del it's delicious. Okay. Do you have any any more information on this? I mean, I could... Oh, I'll tell you. I have a little bit, just my savings. I was you know looking for a place to park it. I know a guy. He's going to need six drops of blood. <laughs> Kind of a weird request, but I, I think we can make that work. Sweet, you, you figure out this curse thing, and we'll we'll talk later. We'll talk That's later. Perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. I have That's blood all over me. Keep but no, it's from the bath. Oh yes, take the bath one. Uh, question: The you said when the bats kind of dissolved into the the mist, yeah. did the parts of the bats that stayed stay? Uh, Peepa and Moondust are still canonically covered in blood. Okay, uh, all they right. can't get rid of it, but. <laughs> Uh, there are no I other parts so. of the bats. Yes, um, I'm going to cast <laughs> Prestidigitation on myself and it make just, myself there's just not now look more like blood. blood. There's just more no, blood. No, no. Blood all the time. not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, can you, which, uh, like, which way, can you give us any more like, help? I, I don't that's rude. We need to go that's to the tomb. Yeah, yes. we, we, I, yes. I, I, I can take you to the tomb. Okay, okay. Yes. If, you, if you look, if, if you can, if, if you can, if you can stop this curse or whatever, we can forget the lawsuit, and we won't seek damages. We could, we just, we just need this to end. We want to help you. Don't worry. That's why we're here. 
But you have to trust us and not be so mean to us sometimes when we're here to really just try and help the situation. I understand, but you have to trust it too. Like, I, I mean, yeah, our so town was defrauded by your organ, by your company, and okay. they, they forged my signature well, on official documents. Let and, us you know, defrauded, you oopsie daisy. Semantics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when, I, when you're ready, like Theodore can take you to the the, the Barrow, which That's is which is fairly <clears throat> close yeah. to to the town. In fact, she takes you uh, maybe about uh, half a mile outside of Angleworth itself, and you can see it's just this, it's this it's this actually kind of idyllic, beautiful grassy hill, um, and there you can see there is an entrance into it, um, and she stops uh, well back from it. She says it's 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 in there again. We we don't come down here because. You know, I assume it's all opened up now after, you know, the other people went in there and kind of bashed their way in, but whatever's happening is coming from in there. Can I do an occult or like a or like any lore that I can see? If yeah, I you, uh, is there anything speci- any specific kind of information that you're looking for? I want to, like, what would make something this cursed, whether it be like someone trying to become a lich and just messing up or like making deals with people, what would generate uh, this much power? Go ahead with an occultism. I like that. Mm. Uh, that is a 17. 17. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, there are certainly lots and lots of reasons why uh, a curse could manifest. If, uh, Theodore's understanding of the history was correct and somebody was dabbling in powers that they weren't ready for, or they seriously pissed off one of the deities who was like, stop that and smote them, certainly all kinds of horrific things could happen to you, uh, you know, eternal punishments galore, um, uh, necromancy, certainly could have been something that, okay. that would have happened. But what strikes you is you're thinking back to the way the curse manifested and the fact that it seems to be relatively random, but there was that 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 shrieking, that wailing sound, and then that puff of fog. Yep. And distinctly in your mind what stands out is that that keening was clearly pain. Like you're thinking back to it, like, this is a, a if there if there is an entity responsible, it is a it's tormented suffering. entity. Yes. Okay. There is something something bad happening. Um, okay. I'll uh, I would like turn around, let the group know, uh, right. just basically what down there is like in a, in s- suffering for some reason. Oh. Uh, Flotsam will walk up and just kind of press his hand on the the like the door of the or sure. the, the casement. Yeah. Um, and now I want to do the the uh, psycho assessment or psychometric assessment sure. uh, to figure out what the emotion is mm-hmm. there, and then if I focus for a minute, I can get the face of who caused the emotion. If that makes sense. Who caused? Yeah, like who who imbued the thing with? <laughs> okay. Okay. Is there any kind of check involved with this? Uh, there is not a check, but you may uh, if if it, if the emotion's negative or painful, uh, I'm potentially could take. Okay. Some damage. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Um, you focus your psychic mind and try to get a reading from what's happening. And you do feel, at first, it's like a simmering anger, and you open your mind to it a little bit more, and that is when just an overwhelming wash of of just rage and agony falls over you. Like you all see Flotsam like like almost stumble to the ground. And what is the potential negative that I can... Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I may take 1d6 psychic damage as determined by the Game Master. Oh. I determine in this particular instance it's quite fitting that you take 5 points. Oh. Like you all see his nose starts to bleed. He's clutching at his head. His eyes are fluttering. He almost passes out. Uh, you just, just overwhelming grief and pain and torment and anger. Yes, so much. Just ire in here. Ire? Ire, anger. Anger, anger. Yeah. and and it may it may overwhelm. So be be alert. He wiped the the blood from his nose, uh, and you see uh, he'll start to descend in. Sure. Uh, and as he goes down into the, the dimmer light, uh, those pinpricks around his hairline and down his thing start to glow in a light 
uh, purple kind of illumination, basically casting a dim light around me. Ooh. Ooh. Does That's it actually fun. mechanically give you dim light? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Cool. cool. So, which is good because it gets very, very dark as you, as you, uh, are you all uh, heading down dim. into, yeah. into yeah. the 10 foot radius. 10 foot radius. Right. So, so you get down there and it's very, very dark. So even, even just the 10 foot radius, that dim light feels like a beacon down here. Uh, and you find yourselves in a rectangular chamber that is filled with the stench of death. But what strikes you is that it's recent death. Mm. Um, and it's no wonder why, because halfway through this room, you see there is an elf man who is pinned to the wall by a massive scythe blade connected by a long wooden arm to a hinge point in the ceiling. The elf's blood lies in a rusty, congealed puddle beneath his dangling feet. Across the room from you, there is an open stone door. The walls here are covered in glyphs and pictographs. Even to the untrained eye, you can see that they are warning messages, promises of grim death to any who enter. Oh. Um, does the the body look like it was, it has like a, an insignia or anything that it belonged to H.E.I.? Yeah, I mean like pretty, pretty quickly. You Like this is, this elf clearly died recently. Uh, and just like looking over there, you're like, that's one. That's, one, that's of one of ours. They came down here and oh. it got bad real fast. Random question: Animate dead wouldn't like raise her consciousness again, right? No, it would be a mindless. Uh, and it, yeah, you would only be able to animate the body for a very short amount of time, and it would be a mindless uh, Being, servant. I yeah. figured. There are spells that you know of that allow you to speak with with dead creatures, but I don't know that you know any of them. Unfortunately, or your familiar hasn't taught them to you. Yes, my oh. Randolph is upset. He's taking so much blood. The Randolph may be yeah. persuaded <laughs> later on to tell you that secret, yeah. but you got to get three more people in your downline. That's oh, I got it. <laughs> three yeah, more I, people in your downline. You see, you go to the next tier. You get to speak with the dead. I'm in the obelisk tier. I yeah. really need to get into the double, triple. Yeah. Negative. Uh, the amount of blood like congealed here and around the room is mm-hmm. it elf-sized blood like? The amount that would be in a similar uh, body, or is it like more? For kicks and giggles, roll a, a, a medicine check. Gonna roll a medicine check. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. How much? Four, six. 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 You have a negative? I have a zero. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot of blood. Moondust Glitter Violet Sparkle Wishes doesn't like blood, so I'd like to stealth in Peepa's hair. Okay, you just hide and burn in Peepa's hair. Just, just think of it of syrup. Oh, I have some. Is there anything I rolled to make sure like the trap isn't active anymore? Yeah, you can make or... a make a perception check. See if there's any other dangers that might be. Ooh, eighteen Ooh, nice. on die, twenty six. You're pretty confident that this was uh, this was like this, a this is, is now inactive and used up, and you don't see anything else. That strikes you as like a secondary trap or another blade or anything. You're pretty sure this is safe. Um, clearly, it only it only took one. Yeah. So you're very glad that it wasn't you. Mm-hmm. He's gonna scoop up a little bit of blood. Yep, gotta get looking. that blood. Gotta get that in blood. His <laughs> hey, elf, elf blood <clears throat> worth way more. <laughs> so shall we continue onward? So I keep seeing the hero point yeah, yeah. graphic, yes. but I don't see the hero point. So I don't know how many hero points we're supposed to have. As uh, from what I know of, there's three in the group pool. If there's supposed to be more, some mysterious entity just let me know, and I will add more to the group pool. So shall hit us with eight. <laughs> Put an eight there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have a lot more than It seems box. like because that graphic keeps popping up. I'm like, yeah. okay, there's supposed to be more, but I don't see the the counter isn't ticking, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to or not. Uh, Peep, is there anything you wanted to do while you were here? Um, no, I just want. Can I examine the uh, the like the runes and this? Like, because you said that there was like yep, lots of runes and stuff. Uh, why don't you make either Arcana mm-hmm. or Occultism would be appropriate checks, or you know, or Religion, whatever one you want. I'll All of them would fit. Occultism, sixteen plus nine. Yeah, uh, you can see uh, these are warding runes. Uh, some of them are wards. Some of them, they're now inactive because the tomb was breached, but they are I meant see. to, and, and from what you can determine, they are primarily meant to contain. So uh, they weren't really designed to keep people out. They were designed to contain things inside. But the thing has opened up. But now so that it's now been they're... opened, those wards are inactive, and that's probably why there's all this energy escaping. Got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll move deeper in. 
Uh, and then can I, I guess, is it thievery to just kind of scout for? Uh, just perception if you want to. It would be thievery if you find something that's locked or a trap that you want to disarm. Got it, but got just it. for looking for things, it would be a perception check. Beep, boop. Uh, that's pretty good. It's an unnatural 20. Unnatural Ooh, 20. Okay, 20. so you're, you're scoot along, um, and you don't see anything else that jumps out to you as dangerous. Like that that one one trap might have been the, the, the only mechanical thing uh, in your immediate vicinity that, that was dangerous, and that was obviously used. Uh, so you move beyond the entrance, and uh, you get into a hexagonal room that is filled with a dozen or so open sar stone sarcophagi. There are these shattered bones of maybe a dozen humanoid figures that lie scattered in piles about the room, but you also see two more corpses. There are two dwarf women, both clad in torn studded, le studded leather, and they have weapons near to hand. Both look like they were torn apart, like there was very likely some kind of long, protracted battle in here, and they succumbed to many, many wounds. Um, there is also another exit from this room, further, further beyond. Do these women look like they have also the HEI on them? Yeah, you, you sort of go over the bodies, and it's pretty clear, like, two more, two more licensed heroes down. Which, if you remember from your original documents, four came down here so originally. One. Three of them but met it, a it's, grisly it's, end. It's their, their leader. Oh my goodness. Correct. Oh, sorry, we have ten hero points. That's what Yeah! <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah! <laughs> that sounds, uh, if I'm guessing, that sounds like a Sarah BC1 thing. Uh, if I'm just oh, taking a stab in the dark. Sarah, Sarah. I don't even have more hero points, so there's just a bunch of them in there. You guys will spend Yay. them and just keep getting more. You have a total of 13. 13. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, do whatever you want then. The game's yours. Reroll, reroll, reroll. Re <laughs> uh, uh, I think you. I think Chauncey will turn around and say, "They, this is way of, this is way above our pay, like their pay grade. I, uh, they should not have come in here alone." But they didn't. There was four of them. I mean, just just that. I, and only the one is left. Is there a way to do any sort of roll to see what could do something like this to them? Uh, another medicine check would, would be appropriate here mm. if you want to determine like causes have... of death and stuff like that. Do you say that out loud, Mundust? Yeah, because I do have. I medicine. wonder what did this. <laughs> <laughs> there are Genius. Yours medicine check. So I have plus ten. Uh, <laughs> twelve. Twelve. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you can tell that they're, they're, they came across, like, there isn't, uh, it definitely, even at a cursory glance, you can tell dozens and dozens of wounds. Some of them look like bites, a lot of them look like scratches. A whole bunch, um, yeah. Like, they, they fought in here. Like, they're, you know, just from what you know of adventuring, there were very likely many creatures, um, and they just overwhelmed these two. Okay. Um, Death of a thousand cuts. Yeah. But you don't see any other bodies, so looking around, just like at the piles of bones, you wonder if, like, Perhaps it was the skeletons, like rose up. If the if their bodies were rising up and attacking them, mm -hmm. you know, ultimately as a group, you know, technically uh, in the wind column for HEI, but not yeah. for these two individuals. <laughs> <laughs> and how many doors are there? There's just one other door. One other door. Yeah. Can I take a femur? Yeah. Pick up a femur and just sure. put it in my bag. Sure. Oh. Uh, perception check at the door. Do you anything past it? Uh, make we... a perception check. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, another 18, 26. Six. Uh, yeah, you put your, your you, you sort of untuck your ear from your hat and it flies, flops out and you, you put it to the door and you listen and you listen and you can hear some very loud, angry speech. And you listen for a while and you only hear one voice, but it's somebody like, it's, it sounds like an argument, but like as if one person was having an argument. Um, you'll see Chauncey like, mess with his hands and then a message goes out. Uh, and he's like, there, there's someone at this door arguing with him, with himself, with someone or something. I, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Mm. Let me see if I have a thing. Does, do you make out words? Um, no, Did so message out? is like, 
Like it'll be in your head. No, no, oh. no. I'm talking about the people. The, oh, this, can can yeah. I make out words? No, everything's still muffled. So like, but you do occasionally, now. like like the tone, and like occasionally you hear like these these sharp like uh, like like somebody's yelling, mm-hmm. and occasionally they get very heated and like they yell something. Um, and occasionally, maybe something that says like damnation, or or uh, it's something maybe like uh, uh, it's, it's hard to say. But like you know, like okay. can't quite make anything specific beyond that. It's just, it's just so angry. Like I, I, I don't know. Hmm. As you're standing there, um, you all hear just as clear as you did when you were outside this horrific wailing shriek, and there is a blast of this yellowish mist that expands from first almost first it hits Chauncey and expands outward in a rush, <coughs> and then when it clears. You're all standing in silence, except one of the bodies near Flotsam, one of the fresher bodies near Flotsam, begins to twitch. No. Make a perception check, real quick. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, oh, 17, 25. Hero point. <laughs> Using a hero point. I can't use another hero point? No. no, you can't. Only one oh, no. per roll. Fifteen. Fifteen. So you are caught suddenly by surprise. Uh, a toothy maw of what was just moments before a fresh, dead uh, uh, dwarf snaps you right, ac- right around your ankle. That would be a... Yeah, 29 days. Oh, 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 this no. jaw snaps around oh, your ankle. Oh, bloody hell! You take only six points of piercing damage. I've taken the most damage. However, there is this chill that oh, no. begins to grow up your leg, and I need you to make a fortitude save. Oh, no. Oh, oh butts. Yeah, all right. It's an 18 on the die. Uh, 28. Uh, 28. Uh, yeah, so you you feel your leg begin to seize up, but then you fight the feeling off, and when you look down, you see this dwarf woman and the other dwarf are scrambling to their feet oh, no. to attack, and we must all roll initiative. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what the... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, hero oh, point. I... Hero point. Okay, okay guys. Yeah. Let's like, got we got, oh, we got so many of them. Yeah. Let's, let's divide the hero yeah. points evenly. Make sure one side isn't using uh, Flotsam, what are you looking at with your, your new and improved initiative? 25. 25 for Flotsam. Moondust? 25. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, roll off, right? Who has, that, who has the bigger bonus? Eight. Uh, my perception bonus is a seven. Ha ha. Ah, so it's Moondust wow. first. I have a 12 uh, Chauncey. Uh, 17. 17 for Chance. Oh, like, we're on a team and they're on a team. And then 18. 18. Oh, yeah, for Peeps. And 20 for me. You said oh. she was wearing leather, right? Studded leather. Uh, studded leathers, yes. Uh, moon dust, glitter, violet, sparkle wishes. You see something mm-hmm. horrible. As yeah. two dead dwarf women begin to rise to their feet, one of them bites your friend Flotsam right in the ankle and then they both rise to their feet. You see now that they don't look like dwarfs anymore at all. Their features have twisted, their teeth are sharp, their claws elongated, and they look hungry. And what's worse, they smell. They smell so bad that before you do anything, I just need you to make a fortitude save. Oh no! Don't throw up. Fortitude. 15. 15. Oh, okay. Uh, that's gonna be twenty-five. You choke down the feeling of of, of vomit rising in your Ooh. in your stomach, and and you steal yourself. You don't want to waste that candy you ate earlier, so you <laughs> steal yourself against the stench, and you can act normally. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, hey, I'll pop out from people's. Like, hey, you. Uh, th- th- that couldn't have been very tasty. It's not nice to bite friends. Here and she's gonna reach in her bag and she's gonna throw a bunch of candy at them. Okay. <laughs> and I can hit two can uh, two conjoining squares because okay. they're standing next to each okay. other, right? Um, and it's scatter scree. Scatter scree. All right. 
It looks like I need a save for both of them, a reflex save. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, that is a natural one, so crit for failure yeah. for one of these undead monstrosities, and the other one rolled real, real, really poorly. That is only a 13. Awesome. Uh, so a critical failure and a failure. Yeah, it's just bludgeoning damage, and the ground is difficult terrain. Okay, all right. So 1d4 plus my, ooh, plus 11. Sweet. It's 3d4. Oh, 3d4? Yeah, because you oh. are heightening your cantrips. Ah, great. Yeah. I can't see, can't see the other one. <laughs> okay. Uh, 7, 8, 9, plus 11, so 20. Because plus my spellcasting modifier. It's pl- right? no, the spellcasting modifier would be. Oh, five, it was already it's, that. It's, it's, it's your spellcasting modifier would be your uh, is plus four, oh, because okay. it, you're talking about your ability. Oh, sorry. Yes, that's the attack roll I was reading. Uh, so nine plus four. That's what you said. Thirteen points of damage. Great. Thirteen points of damage. One of them critically failed, so it's going to take double. Noise. Yeah! Noise. 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 <laughs> 26 points of bludgeoning damage, and that takes 13, and they're in difficult terrain because there's all this candy beneath their feet now. <laughs> um, yeah, you just pelt them with with hard candies, and they are, like, you all watch as like their flesh is almost flayed <laughs> from their bones by all these, these like, Werther's originals that are now sticking out of their flesh. Uh, <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> uh, flotsam. Uh... So Flotsam's going to reach out and kind of point his arm towards Peepa uh, as those colors and elements kind of swirl around. Uh, and I'm going to cast, uh, uh, it's called uh, Forbidding Ward. Ooh. Uh, it's sustainable. Basically, she'll get a plus one against the dwarf closest to her. Gotcha. Ooh, thank you. Uh, for up to a minute. Mm-hmm. And cool, then minute. for my Sweet. Uh, regular, I'll try and just kind of I do need you to do one thing. Oh, which yeah, is all fortitude do, save huh? against the horrible stench yeah. these bodies I, give off. I grew up in the harbor, Jim. Uh, twenty-four. All right, you are not affected. You, the, the, this, the, the fish were much worse. Yeah, not affected by this stench. Uh, I'm gonna take my gill hook and go down and try and like come up and <coughs> slice the or the. Do you want to do? The, the there's neck. one that's one that tried to bite you is not as wounded. But the other one next to it, it looks like it's almost, de- almost just completely. Yeah, yeah. No, I want the one that's neck that tried to bite me. One that tried to bite you, getting vengeance. All right, make an attack. Uh, Nineteen on the die. Oh. Plus nine. Twenty-eight, Jim. Twenty-eight is a critical hit. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, guys, we just got a total of ten new hero points. Oh, so that's yeah. Ten new hero no? units. Twenty-one. No, 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 no. Oh, this is from before. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, just yeah, kidding. Oh my goodness. Oh my just goodness, Diane. Okay, I got it's excited. Okay. I read. Uh, I just read. I plus four. Plus <laughs> five. Twenty-eight. Damage. Twenty-eight points of damage, and you just slice it in two. Yeah. Uh, it, it rose and was immediately put down by a mighty strike from the bill hook. <laughs> uh, the other, very badly wounded uh, undead dwarf, who was once a co-worker and now <laughs> hates you. Forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, does not seem deterred by their wounds and is just going to uh, claw, claw, claw at Flotsam. Oh, no. Oh, Flotsam, no. here comes Not the Not Flotsam! Claw. That's me! Here comes Flotsam. Ooh, that is a... 30 to hit. Whoa! Oh, that wow. is 10 over my AC, oh, Jim. My critical oh. hits. Jim doesn't like the it's powers okay. of the psychic, it seems. It's okay. I will heal you. 16 points oh. of slashing damage oh. and a fortitude save, my friend. Oh. Uh, minus 16. And a fortitude save. Luckily, my fortitude bonus is okay. 23? 23, you're okay, all right? You you feel that cold, like, sort of seize up on you, but you resist it once again. Uh, and then, you know what, instead of just standing here and just slashing at you, uh, I'm gonna do something that's more fun. I am going to leap across the room swiftly. Can you do straight that? Straight for chance. Yes, I can. I have you the can... swift leap. Even the in difficult leap. terrain? Yes, I can leap right out of it. I can leap right no! out of your candy trap and leap right at Chauncey and come in with a bite. Chauncey, it's probably going to get you with an even 20. Oh. Ah, it almost, it catches your coat and tries to rip, and it's nothing. 
Nothing. And that was all I could do. One one action to leap, two attacks. That's all I got. People. That's all you got. You ripped me apart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did feel pretty good about that one. So the plus one you gave me is to this door in front yeah. of me? Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to find something. I'm going to find candy, and I'm going to flick the candy into it. You fling it. some of the candy in a telekinetic projectile straight at this creature. Go ahead and make it a spell attack. Willy Wonka yes. versus well, mine. 22. 22 is a hit. Yes. That is 10, 11, uh, 11 plus 4 is 15. 15. 15. Yep, 15, just kidding. And like all these like candy shards just pepper it in the back of the head and collapses its skull inward and it falls face first right on to Chauncey, (laughs) who just like (laughs) stumps down his body. Nice job, Peepa. The dead are quiet once again. Once I get my coke gun, you're so done, people. <laughs> That's not nice. I'm gonna uh, walk over to no. plot some and, and um, here I will help you. <gasps> <laughs> and I'm going to cast. Um, Jim, can I cast you that at a third level? No. Why not? I don't know. You asked if you could. I said no. <laughs> you, you're, your your character can do that. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. All right. Three d ten plus four. As you Ooh. see. Right, you're really hurt. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. yeah he got hit hard. <laughs> That's a ten in there. Sorry, I have to. Yeah. There's two tens. Yeah. Oh. Two tens on a nine. That's like Whoa. almost nine. Oh I my feel gosh. Perfect. Plus Thirty three. Pippa is incredibly soothing. <laughs> I feel perfect. Yeah. Her her, her kelp like softness eases me back to health. Put a third, and then I'm going to cast. Uh, how am I looking at? Eh, I can wait. Myself can wait. Oh, we're good. Is everyone okay now? Are you okay, Flatson? Oh, I'm pretty great now. If I'm being honest, let's let's fight these guys. I mean, they're dead. Well, the next, let's fight them. <laughs> do we still, yeah, yep. yeah, <laughs> yeah. After that whole thing, do we still hear like the yelling? And yeah, the- sure. so, so knowing what to, to listen for, um, you go back up to the door, you, you take a moment to listen, and it still sounds like they're shouting and it's just like, angry, like. Do you want me to roll fortitude? I forgot. No, you're, you're good. Um, I have a little bit, and I swallow it back down. You vomit all over me, just clean around. No! <laughs> you can't vomit on She's your shoulder. She's covered in blood. So weird. She's covered in vomit. It's just horrible. <laughs> you are so mean to her. <laughs> can can you cast ghost sound through a door and on the other side? You don't have light effect to it. Uh, Got it. Look through the people. <gasps> can I look through the... Uh, oh. no, she's Is there a, a crack on the bottom? Oh, I'm tiny. Jim, Jim thought I had the people. Uh, no cracks, I, no. Dang it, Jim. Uh, we door. Well, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> I could <laughs> maybe get in there. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sneaky as well. Just be I, careful. Can I try to stealth the? You want to stealth open the door? Yeah. The door Make a open? stealth check. Oh. What? What's your stealth? No, that would be better gaming. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. I'm gonna use a I hero <laughs> Save them for us. <laughs> there oh, we go. Okay. Uh, that is a 28. Ooh. You quiet as a rat. <laughs> Creak that door open. And you see a grim scene in the next room. There is a warrior in gleaming arm in gleaming armor with a huge gnarled mace. He is standing before before a large, ornate sarcophagus. He has a gold, glowing golden scroll in one hand and a holy symbol in the other, which he is holding aloft. Feel the flames, wicked spirit! The flames of damnation! Penance for your terrible sins! Burn! Burn, foul spirit! As he continues to chant, your eyes are drawn to a ghostly figure hovering in the center of this chamber about ten feet off the ground. It is a wild-haired man with sunken flesh and empty sockets for eyes. He writhes and shrieks as silvery flames rain down on him from above, singeing his translucent form in a holy inferno. He seems bound in place by these ghostly chains that have sprung up from the ground and have wrapped this ghost in place. And and this, this warrior keeps chanting, Burn! Burn! Tell me your secrets! 
<laughs> John Scott and that is the end of our adventure for today. <laughs> we be dead later. Right? This is a wrong door, guys. We'll just lock the door so and they'll weird. never come out. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> what did you? What, what was that? I have no idea. Shh, sorry. Was it? Was it the sir guy who did the thing? Which I, one looked scarier? I mean, I think the dude Channing, I didn't really like that. It's okay. The, the ghost guy just seemed like he was living there. He well, wasn't doing anything. Oh, right. oh, oh. Does anyone know who, uh, uh, if the man, uh, I forget his name, sir, Billy Bob Thornton, I don't know his name. <laughs> I was right. Uh, that was right. If, <laughs> if he is uh, one of those pallet uh, champion or cleric types. Hmm. I you guess, think he's warding it? Well, I, I, he might have forged the the work order in order to cleanse and mm. sanctify, but it wasn't an issue before he started doing it. You want to ask him? Why just don't, are we are we fighting a, a ghost man, or are we fighting? Why is your initial reaction that we're gonna fight anyone? What if they're just looking for friends? A dead oh. dwarf bit me on the leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one was just maybe having a bad dream while it was sleeping, okay? Wait, didn't one bite you? No. No. I feel like I'm being gaslit. <laughs> I don't know what that means. She's the one who got bit by the gas. <laughs> <laughs> she got gaslit. <laughs> uh, I'd, 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 I'd like... Yeah, we're just gonna go in. Okay, wait. On the count of three, where we all say, go. Because you mentioned it, anybody who wants could make a society. Let's call it a society check. Oh. Um, Ooh. Can I don't have a good pre call hero? No. Nope. That's Let's a 13. Let's try. Uh, nine. I'm gonna crit fish with a hero point. Okay. <laughs> Almost worked. 13. 13. <laughs> That's not. Well, I rolled a two before. Uh, I rolled a two. Also. Having seen the guy. You're pretty sure you're look at you were look like that was Sir Philip Trotten. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that he was some kind of religious sort. You were you never paid too much attention to him. You just you don't know any other details. Some kind of religious guy um, ran with this crew who's now apparently all dead. Uh, but you don't know anything else beyond that. He's not very good at his job. Well, are we just going to like run in and go rawr and like attack, or should we? Yeah, let's do that. Stealthily go in the door? <gasps> right. I like to be stealth. <gasps> I can go invisible. <gasps> oh. I can too. <gasps> do you want to go in there and play a game where we go invisible and see if our friends can find us before the bad guys can? Only if we do an invisible hug. <gasps> and he snaps his fingers and, and turns she... invisible. <laughs> and All she, right. <laughs> she, takes, uh, she takes her wand. Uh, and then like swirls herself and does a little turn and then quickly drinks a potion and then she's <laughs> <laughs> invisible. All right, you got 10 minutes of invisibility. Oh, <laughs> I want to yeah. look at people. Yeah. I want to look at people and just go, <gasps> I just felt left out from all the gas. <laughs> Me too. You just feel a hug. You're no, like, oh, I was, you're not. I was going to say, you're not, all you feel are tiny, down. tiny little hands <laughs> around your you? neck just hugging you. you. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, I guess me and... Uh, do you want me to reroll a stealth to get in? I mean, you're both like you know. If you just yeah. want to go, if you're going so, in. So, so me and me and her gonna slide in. Okay. Um. Wait, wait. Um. All right. Go. So, so things will get a little bit tricky here. You guys are going in the room. Pipa and Flotsam. Are you doing anything? Or are you just waiting to see what happens with them? I will look in the door. Okay, yeah, the door, the, door, the, the creaks open the door. You can see now, like, through, you can see this scene going on. This guy is just yelling and chanting, and occasionally there are these silvery flames that wrap this this ghost-like spirit, uh, and, and it shrieks and screams and, and writhes, and he's yelling at it even harder. What's the caster wearing? Uh, make a perception check. Ooh. I'm now deciding my dice based on the camera versus yeah. the... <laughs> Uh, 16 plus 7. Sure. Uh, from what you can tell, uh, he, is, he is pulling divine power, channeling it through his holy symbol. Uh, you've seen clerics uh, often do this. He doesn't, uh, it's possible. You, could, you, were, you were talking about a champion earlier. You would guess either champion or cleric. 
is he adorned in in like plate or? Yeah, he's got cloth? he's got pretty he's got okay. some, some some chain mail armor on. Uh, I would like to ready heat metal. Yeah. Okay, it's a good one. You ready to cast heat metal? Uh, Pipa, are you doing it? Um, how far? If we're peeking through a door, how far away are they? The the room. I mean, he's he's a good. It's a very large. The central chamber in the in the barrow is is very large. He's probably a good forty feet away and down. Like it slopes down almost like into a bowl. Sure. And the sarcophagus at the bottom of this bowl, and this guy is standing there in, is in the center of this room. There anything else around, like objects or anything? Yeah. If you if you want to find telekinetic projectiles, you'll. No, I'm not that. thinking about that one. Okay. All right. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm going. No, no, no. Actually, what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to cast unseen servant. Okay. I'm going to have it walk in, okay. and the guy that's yelling and doing all this thing. I want it to kind of take his robes and go like whoosh, like this oh. on him, mm-hmm. kind of like to cause a distraction. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Roll a initiative. No, I don't even know what to tell you to roll. I just want to roll confuse, a deception. I yeah, I, I, yeah, and yeah. Stop. It's it's interesting. It, it's it's cool. Roll a roll deception. Just deception? just for kicks and giggles. Yeah, I just want to see what. Let's okay. just see what happens with the dice. Deception. Oh, no, it doesn't count. Can I aid her in her trickery? Uh, no, because you didn't really know what she was so doing. So that it's is right. a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay, yeah. So there is this 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 unseen. So you you're just concentrating and focusing, and this this unseen, invisible, summoned spirit walks up to this guy and and, and brushes his his cloak, and and he's he stops for a moment. He says, "What? What? Ghost? You try to fight back now? I have you in my grasp. There's nothing you can do. Your powers are worthless. Tell me what I want to know." And this can all end. It will all end. Wanna, you don't have to suffer needlessly anymore. Not like my friends did. I want to take the, his cloak and kind of put it over his head. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to get? I into just wanted like, to get your... so confused yeah. and so like frustrated. It doesn't know what's happening. So everyone else, everyone can go in right. and ambush. He seems really super focused on okay. what's happening in front of him. So getting in unnoticed, especially with the invisible people, not going to be a challenge. Like that's like, you guys could walk in at any time. Okay. So You're good there. Okay, so then yeah. um, I'll look at uh, Flotsam. I'm trying to figure out if I can read lips. I said, let's go. I kind of whisper it. It's not like I... Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, the two invisible clowns, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so what, do you want to shift more to his side? Or... Oh, yeah, Mike, what do well, you want to do? Well, uh, did you hear what he said? He said... Tell me, he wants to know things. So what if we go over and tell him things? And like whisper in secrets? Yeah, yeah, like, like and he'll think secrets? it's the ghost, and then, I don't know. I mean, it could work. Also, I have this really cool trick that I can do that I can make ghost sounds. But the, go- the ghost is already making sounds. I know, but can make more sounds? Let's go try to talk to him. Okay. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna move over into, like, I guess, his right and left shoulder. Oh okay. Uh, and like, do you wanna never have to work again? <laughs> What's your world wound? <laughs> oh my God. I I am a millionaire, and let me tell you. I never have to work again by selling the six things to everyone I know. Yay. Finally, spirit. Finally, we're getting some. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time before you broke. <laughs> yes, you got me. I'm, I'm so weak to your awesome powers. Okay, do you have, do you have something to write this down? I. I'm not putting down my implements for you. No, nice try. Tell me what no, I want to know. Fine. Where are your treasures? Okay, how do you feel about treasures? How do you feel about interplanar travel? I have some timeshares for you that you can purchase. I will not bear your tricks for one moment longer. Tell me what I want to know or you will suffer. You will suffer greater than you have yet. He seems to be very focused. Like he doesn't he's really super focused on the spirit. He really <clears throat> thinks that like it's talking to him. Um, and, and now that you're closer to him, he looks like he looks haggard. He looks like sweats dripping down his face. He looks tired. He looks half crazed. Like I mean, he's he's just out of his mind. Um, 
the fact that he even believes that you are like the spirit talking to him at this point, like it's just like he's he's really gone quite far here. Can I cast charm on him? Yes. Oh. Okay. That would be a will save. Okay. Uh, ooh, that is a 30. Oh. oh. How about you re-roll that? Oh. I won't. I won't re-roll that. Um, he like shakes his head for a moment. He says, I knew it was a trick. I knew it was too good to be true. And he calls down another gout of silvery flame and the spirit is shrieking. And this, this yellow mist begins to form near it. What do you all do? Can I use my aura sense? Basically, yes. it lets me uh, give me a general assessment of his physical and mental health. Uh-huh. Uh, if it's uh, if there's an affliction or something, uh, mm-hmm. I have to succeed, succeed against uh, an occultism check. Uh, I would say, yeah, he, he's he's not physically sick. He's just he's exhausted, and he's like he, he's like, gone off the deep end. Well, that's I'm like, see if his mind's warped naturally or no. I mean, he's just genuinely seems to be like okay. like he's he's a broken man. He's very like your general assessment. He watched all of his friends die horribly. Uh, he wants, he, he hasn't slept. He's, he's basically torturing the spirit and like, he's like, everything's, it's, it's, it's all heightened to a point where it's all overwhelming. It's not impossible that he might be reasoned with. He's not being magically compelled, but he certainly is pretty far gone. Like it's, this is a, this is a tense situation. Um, and it's only made more tense by the, the torment of the spirit, uh, which is beginning to manifest unless somebody does something. Uh, we have to stop that thing. Okay. He puts his gun away <laughs> that he had like right next to his head, <laughs> uh, and he's gonna go drop it uh, and cast command. Command. Okay, Ooh. I'll make another will save. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna ready my action to throw something at him with telling him. Throw this oh, Which oh, one? No. The guy. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, are we fighting we the guy or the, the ghost? ghost? I. I do we? Yeah. Oh, he's the one a No, the no, ghost the was ghost peaceful. Is, the ghost. Okay, 12. What? Yes! The ghost was peaceful until the dude That's not a critical fail, but that is a fail. S- uh, so so you do idea. immediately drop the items in your hand. Do you want it to drop the, the golden scroll or his holy symbol? Uh, the scroll. Okay. Um, momentarily, <laughs> like, seized by your magic, <laughs> his eyes cloud. <laughs> he opens his hand and drops the scroll. And he watches it clatter the ground in abject horror, and the chains wrapped around the spirit burst. <gasps> oh no! And the spirit lets out this horrific shriek oh, and God. dives for him. <laughs> Let's roll initiative. Oh no! <laughs> now we gotta save this. I don't know which one we're oh. fighting. Me neither. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna burn for. Uh, yeah, I gotta burn one. I rolled two. You do you. That wasn't really okay. <laughs> All right, Peepa, what are we looking at? Twenty nine. Twenty nine for Peepa. Seventeen. Sixteen. John C's got a sixteen. Twenty. Twenty for Flotsam. And plus thirty six perception. Eighteen. Eighteen for Moon Dust. Uh, Peepa, you see everything. St- it, the, it's on. This spirit on. is diving for this guy. It looks like it wants to rend him limb from limb. He's like shrieking, stay back! Um, so, he doesn't notice any of you. Like You are invisible. Like, he hasn't even noticed you right. guys are in the room I'm yet. Pick, I'm what do picking you do? something up and I'm throwing it at the guy that... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm picking something up. Okay. What are you... Uh, this is a teleconnected projectile? Yes. Okay. That is my spell. 19 plus 11. Uh, that would be a 30. 30. And a 30 is not a critical hit. Barely oh. not a critical hit, but it is definitely a hit. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Hey, y'all oh. thought that, that everything no. was going to be easy the whole time? Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points. 11 points of damage. You see this rock smash this guy in the back of the head, and he still doesn't even, like, turn to yeah. look. He, he seems like, like he thinks it's an attack from the spirit, so he's focused up there. Um, you have one more action. I do. Um, I'm going to cast Inspire Courage to everyone right now. Ooh. I'm going to start singing quietly. 
I believe that gives everybody a plus one bonus to attack rolls and saving throws mm -hmm. and skill checks. But now he notices and oh. he turns at the sound of the singing <laughs> and he says, well, what are you doing? I have this in hand. Stay back. I've, I've got this under control. Um, here to uh, figure out what's going on. <laughs> Guess what? We're going to stop fighting. Flotsam. Flotsam is going, oh God, I don't know who we're fighting. <laughs> well, Beepa has chosen a side. She's on, she's on Team Ghost, apparently. Team Ghost! <laughs> I'm kind of on Team Ghost, too, because the Ghost are just chilling. It's not doing nothing. Wasn't doing anything. All right. All right, here's what's gonna happen. Thermal status, oh. or thermostasis, sorry. Okay. Uh, allows me to raise or lower uh, how they go against fire and ice. So okay. I'm gonna amp it okay. to create the duration one minute. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to make him six, what is it? Uh, he takes six less. Or six more. Of so he gains resistance. he gains fire and ice resistance. He gets yes. He gets. Okay. And you're casting this on the, the. Hold on, let me. So, I want to if I attack the man to him to take more damage. Well, that would not be the okay, spell. Then that that's you not cast. what. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a buff. Okay. Yeah. That's not what I want then <laughs> at all. Buffing this man at all. Unless it, unless it gives him weakness. You want something that gives him weakness. Yeah, so yeah. If you give him resistance, he's gonna be able. To... Um, I will cast heat metal. Heat metal. On, yeah, he's on, wearing metal on the, the hero, oh. the, the the living yeah, human. The hero. So we, we're all on that. Team Ghost here. Team Ghost. <laughs> we're on Team oh, Ghost. Team Ghost. Whoa, 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 Jim, Jim, you can't say Team Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> uh, does it? A, it's a save, I believe, right? Uh, it is. Ooh, there's nothing listed. Uh, Team metal, metal um, reflex save. Oh, yeah, there it is against my DC, right? Yep. Always against your spell DC. Uh, his armor begins to heat up. He gets a 22. Ooh. Damn it. 21. So still take half damage. Uh, yes. And that lasts for however long. Half so there's damage. immediate damage. So it'll be... So 46 fire 46 damage. halved. 46. 46. 46 halved. Oh, that makes it easy. That's going to be 7, 12, 16. So it takes 8 and then 2d4. Uh, with a success, there's no persistent damage. With the success, so there's no persistent, correct. So he doesn't take any persistent damage, but now he sees you with your arm outstretched. He feels the armor heat up. He resists it. He says, ah, no, I see. You're in league with the spirit. You seek to break, you seek to steal the treasure from me? I'll kill you all. You'll all feel the torment. Uh. And then I will. Uh, why not? Because I have it, and I have one action. I just whip this boarding axe out from my belt and just overhand huck at the guy. Uh, if you draw it, that's going to be uh, one action. Fine. It'll enough. be in your hand for the next. No, one. I will draw my gill hook. If you got the hook in your hand, then. All right. What it's called? Draw out the hook. I do, I do. I have read this. It is now the horrible shrieking spirit's turn. Why is he always after? Uh, and the horrible like shrieking the spirit dives for this this Sir Philip Trodden and uh, reaches out with a ghastly claw and tries to kill him. Uh, touches him in the chest and you can see it like saps this life essence out of Sir Philip Trump, who is already looking haggard. His, his skin sinks even deeper. He looks like he's on death's door, but he's holding on and he's just like cackling with glee. He says, I'll make you all suffer. Uh, and then it'll be Moondusk with a guy Park Um. You are still invisible. You are right next to all this happening. The ghost is oh, like yeah. in your business. I'm just like, whoa. Are you on Chauncey? Or are you like? No, we like went to separate. Yeah. So you're on the other side I'm of it. I'm on the yeah. other side. Yeah. <laughs> so you're standing there. You see all this happening, like like looking up at it in awe. Yeah. I believe in you, Candy Lady. Candy Lady. Can I? I would like to ignite fireworks. Ooh. If that's, it's a 10 foot burst. Okay. Um. So, so like she just like kind of uses her wand and then casts. So with a 10 foot burst, because you are on either side of this guy, 
You can oh, either hit him. you can either hit <laughs> you or oh. you can hit Chauncey oh. or all three of you. But you're definitely with a ten foot player is going to get one of you. When he said <laughs> hit Chauncey, <laughs> um, I think you know. Hmm. But so I can't hit the ghost too. You could hit the ghost too, but there's just no way to do a ten foot burst that isn't going to hit a friend as well. Okay, don't worry. It won't be that much damage. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, she says, and then makes him explode. Well, it's only uh, it's. Oh yeah, no, it's a burst. Okay. Yep. Um, so it's a reflex save for you. Sorry, Chauncey. Roll reflex save, Chauncey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just like you against, get a bonus. against your ally you get a bonus spell DC, from Pipa, and Ooh. you can reroll. Oh, yeah, I'm singing. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, reflex. Uh, Twenty for the ghost. Mm. Sixteen. Nope. Seventeen. Oh. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, I'm for gonna, the I'm gonna fail. Fail. I'm gonna reroll. Here you go. Okay. 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 <laughs> Mm. That's 13. It's fine. I'll take it. Three then, roll again. No, it's fine. Let's do it again. Can't it's do fine. a forged no. effect. No. No. You guys remember everybody takes full Chelsea. damage, Katie. <laughs> Everybody's taking full damage. What's but no that damage? No critical failures, right? No, no critical failures. Okay, so um, you're gonna be you're gonna take full damage and you'll be dazzled for three rounds. Oh no! Nice. I'm sorry. Dazzled means you're gonna have to roll a flat check to target anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like being like you got spots in your eyes. You got that from her spell. <laughs> <laughs> so Jim, how come? It says 1d8 and 1d8. Because it's 1d8 fire, 1d8 sign. Oh, got it. Cool. Oh, so great. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you weak against fire or sonic damage? Because that would affect you even more. No, I wish I was strong against fire. <laughs> I wish okay. I took that feat. <laughs> did you just roll a 7? Ah, did eight? you get him? Did you get us, Katie? <laughs> That would be so much damage. I had, I had no idea. <laughs> um, it's it's an eight and a seven. Fifteen points of damage, and everybody's taken full because we all failed uh -huh. our saves. Yeah. All of us failed our saves, James. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let me Sorry. just fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Let me just take. Uh, let me just fire. take a quarter of my health. Away. <laughs> Fire and Sonic, James. Make sure you oh, write that okay. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny enough, I take quadruple for Sonic. I'm, I'm just dead. No. Okay. It's those big ears. I'm He's weak cool. against Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, you guys are all dazzled for uh, three I'll write that rounds. Dazzled. dazzled, James. Mark that down. Dazzled. Dazzled. I didn't do it, <laughs> I didn't do it either. I'm sorry. Can't wait for my turn. <laughs> Sorry. You can back. blame Jim. I don't think we should blame me. I didn't cast that spell I, on you. I, 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 mean, I didn't, I didn't do anything to you. He I said we you. go up behind the shoulder. So I was picturing that I was behind this guy, not next you to you said, him. You said multiple times you were on either side of him. What? So that's what I read. Who knows where my gun's going to point next? <laughs> I am dazzled. Well, you can see her now because she I'm cast an offensive spell. So the invisibility is broken. You can true. see the target. I have got good acrobatics. Come at me. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. TPK uh, first episode. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Uh, it's fine. I actually, the ghost has resisted against him, so the ghost didn't take quite as much damage as James did. Just let it down. Wow, the ghost actually liked less Chauncey damage really than got beat Dislike. Uh, you have anything else for us, Moon Dust? Nope. Nope, that was it, all right? So, <laughs> Cha uh, Moon, uh, no, Chauncey. Chauncey. Do you have a response? You were just attacked by your by your friend. Some people are Team Ghost, some oh, people are Team Cleric. I do. Who knows what wait, team she's is on? Wait, team wait, wait, yes, yes. Uh, I would like my third action to be I am going to flutter backward away from this guy. Flutter backward? It's almost as if you hit to me a brain. And land on Peepa. You go to land on, well, Peepa's pretty far away. You wouldn't be able to get to Peepa. You How can move towards she? Peepa. She's like 40 feet away. Oh, okay, so I move towards Peepa. Yeah, you just, you move towards her. You get, you get, you get some way towards Peepa. You see, she attacks you and then runs. Yeah, she flees. She knows what she did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she did. But it was so pretty. Now it's your turn. The fireworks were you can, beautiful. You can retaliate if you wish. Uh, so dazzled, uh, what is that in? So, um, when you are dazzled, mm -hmm. anytime you want to target any anybody, mm -hmm. you have to roll a DC5 flat check. Okay. If you fail the flat check, you you spend the actions, you waste it, but you just it's like a wild misfire. Okay. Uh, so Chauncey, like, super dizzy. He's going to reach out. He's going to touch the guy and go, whoa. 
The alien is a shell. Uh, and cast Shell Touch. So shell first, touch. Uh, flat. Oof. That is a, what's that, James? What's your, what's your roll there, buddy? What's your flat check with you like? Reroll. Yeah, that was a good you do have a hero point. You want to use a hero point? Yeah, <laughs> you use a different uh, dice. We're doing a hero point. I'm going to use my pride dice. Pride dice. Yeah, pride dice. 17! Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you pass the check. You can affect now, this now person. I have to. Now you roll a fortitude. Now I'm going to fortitude save. Uh, natural 20, 31. Oh, oh my god. success oh, on that save. Uh, resist oh, your magic, says, oh, back, foul rats, I'll so kill you all. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a rat folk, sir. That what is, is that? Is that demon I smell too? A demon rat? I won't have it. You'll all burn. That's some good mouse. Uh, and then we go to his turn. Oh. Uh, he raises his holy symbol up in the air and he says, Die! All of you die! Oh, that's me. And I need everybody to make fortitude save. Uh, we have courage, right? Yes. Yes, you, you have are courageous. Courage. Uh, 24. I can't get my I'm gonna re roll that. Mm. Also, hero point. I'm gonna also reroll it. <laughs> no! Oh my god, can I do this another no, hero? You can't. Oh, I did a Katie! No! Yeah. <laughs> uh, 24 for me. 23 for me. 23 and 24. We are down to five. Successes. Okay, let's use them wisely. Points. No one, no one, more. Remember, no. we did 12 is a failure. No, it's okay. it's better than Put that. 16. 16. You both, actually, all of you, feel this wave of what? negative energy and your flesh begins to like gr- model and grow gray and, and oh. necrotic in patches. Oh, and you no. feel this horrendous pain as you two take 19 points <gasps> of negative energy damage oh and you God. two take nine points of negative energy damage. Oh. Uh, and he used all three of his actions to do that. Oh. So you also notice that the ghost seems to be like, it absorbs this energy and becomes even stronger as if negating some of the damage that Katie just did. So it actually like heals as it absorbs this oh. negative energy. Oh. Uh, and we move to the next round. Peep. Oh. Yeah. Um, huh. <laughs> Let me see here. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna try, um, was it a hymn of healing? Heim, him? Him, him, him of healing? Of healing? Yeah. It's two, it's two actions, range of 30 feet, targets me and the allies around me. Um, up to four rounds, your divine singing mends wounds and provides a temporary res, uh, respite from harm? Yep. Uh, you're gonna give yourself, and you get to choose one. <coughs> oh, just one. So other one ally. Person. You and one ally are gonna gain fast healing too, which means every round you'll you'll regain two hit points for as long as you sustain the spell up to a maximum of four rounds. Just by looking at everyone, who looks the worst? Uh, like I, I imagine that those two look like they took like that's oh, that spell it. took like they look they're looking pretty mm-hmm. shabby. Okay, me. I'll it's do it. Me I'll now, do- because this is a composition spell. Yeah. If you use this, you have to stop your inspire, sure. and you can't inspire and him at the same oh, time. The you I have to choose. So yeah. So when if you if you go back to inspire again, it'll end the him healing, even if you wanted to sustain it. You can't do both at the same time. Can I? Ah, oh, fudge nuts. Okay. Can I um? Can I change what I want to do? Yeah. Okay. I'm taking that uh that holy symbol out of his hand with char- charitable urge. I'm gonna take it out. Charitable urge. That's another spell I'm not familiar with. So it's 30 feet. Uh, it's a will save. You speak the virtue of charity, compelling the target to give away its possessions. The target must attempt a will save. If the target has no items on its person, the spell fails. Okay. Uh, I want to try. Make a will save. Yes. Uh, sorry. I'm at no, it's all thing. good. gonna roll the save, I know what it is. Uh, 23. Ah, you win. You win. You win. You win. <laughs> you um, however, yes. even with the successful save, the target is stunned one as it wrestles with the Ooh. earth. So he's Perfect. gonna lose an action on his turn. Okay. As he he thinks like, I, he's, he's like, 
it looks like he's about to give his holy <clears throat> symbol to Chauncey. He's like, no, no, I won't let you take it from me. You will take nothing from me. Great, and then I'll just continue to sing again. Okay. You are singing, sustaining that beautiful performance, which is gonna give everybody that plus one to attacks. And it does account for damage as well. Don't forget to add it to damage if you hit. Oh yeah. We move on from Pipa to Flotsa. All right, I'm gonna try a thing. bad. I'm gonna try a thing. It's probably uh, not gonna work, because uh, I would like to cast Paralyze on him, Jim. Uh, okay. Oh. He gets a will saving throw. Will save. He's got a strong will. You guys keep attacking his will. He's made I mean, of the cloth. I'm literally a mind attacker. 20. 20 is not enough. I am a 21. Nice. So on a failure, he is paralyzed for one round. Ooh. Ooh he's going to lose all of his actions. Uh, oh, and that. then that was two nubbies. Uh, and then for my third attack, it's called the nubbies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Calling your actions yeah. nubbies. nubbies. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll whack him with my my now drawn. I if I don't I, remember you moving okay. up to him, well, then I'll, but you can. You I'll can psychic do that. strike him. Oh, from sure. far away. Psychically strike oh. him. Oh. Uh, I don't know if he still gets a save on that because or side burst him. Sorry. Uh. He gets the basic reflex save as well. Basic reflex save. All right. Reflex is not as good, but that's a good roll. So that is... And he's uh, paralyzed. Uh, 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 29. Actually, yeah, can he make a save while he's paralyzed? It was a 29 for the save. I'm double checking to see if I even get one. I am flat-footed, can't act. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't say I don't get a save anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and say he gets going to save, and then whatever. So right. 29. Uh, well, then he made it. So. All right. Uh, does it take half damage or anything? No, it's it's a it's a psychic. It's okay. like a once so per round you, thing. you try to attack his mind again, but uh, he, he resists you, even in his weakened state. Uh, that takes us to the ghost's turn. The ghost sees it has a plethora of targets, so now it is going to reach out once towards this rat. We were, we were on your side. It reaches a ghostly <laughs> hand out to you. <clears throat> you can barely see it, because all you see is like these flashes in your, before your eyes, but oh, yeah. every, oh, yeah, every once Katie in a while it flashes, it. And, and you see the ghost reaching <laughs> towards you, and it caresses your cheek, 23 to hit. Oh, that just hits. <laughs> And as it caresses your cheek, you feel your very life essence being torn from your body. You take uh, 11 points of negative energy damage. Oh. Oh. And then it is going to let out this horrible, uh, frightful wail. And everybody needs to make a will save. Uh, we're going to die. Remember, because... plus one, plus one. 24. Oh. Saved. Oh, I'm Use keeping it. it. Use it. I'm keeping it. Use it. Keeping it. Nat 20. 25, 26. 21. Nope, sorry, I'm counting my AC. Will save, you said? Yep. Plus one. 24? 19. 19 for me. Everybody succeeded. Yeah! It's always a disappointment. It's always a disappointment when everybody, somebody should fail. No. Nah. Does anybody just want to fail for me? Just, no. just for fun? Just to have like a fun little... If you want to give me 19 hit points back, I don't want to do any I think James is closest to death. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so I tried my frightful moan. I tried to melee attack against you. I'm also going to try to attack this priest because I still hate him. But we were on uh, the ghost side. And he succeeds. He saps more life essence. Saps oh. more life essence from this this Sir Philip Trotten. And you see the man like uh, it wavers on his feet, and he falls to his knees and just falls over. And, and as he hits the ground, his his body becomes so frail that you actually see like. Parts of him like shatter and just crumble to dust. Uh -oh. He is dead. But the ghost seems no less angry, no less agonized, and no less intent on killing everyone in this room. We were so we will to move save him. to Moon Dust Glitter Violet Sparkle Wishes turn. She just saw the most horrific thing in the whole entire world. Basically, a dude exploded into ashes. Um, She's scared, so she's just gonna quickly fling her wand and cast, or attempt to cast slow on the ghost. Slow on the ghost. By the way, a little bit of that dust 
that, that he turned into. Some of it like gets Stop in your mouth. Stop it! Like, and the no! blood. And now there's a little bit of like guy dust. Like, it's, like, it's like in your Does nose. Does everything have to be so nose. gross, it's, it's Jim? It's awesome. So you guess slow. Uh, is that a fortitude save, I believe? That's the yeah. will save. Wait. Are you sure? Because nope. I did make it's a sheet fortitude. that says fortitude. I see it. It says fortitude. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, that is a uh, 30. Oh, to save against the creature is fortuitous. Yep, you succeed. Succeed. But the ghost cannot be slowed. Yes, yes, you can be slowed. You are still slowed for one round. Slowed for one round, reduced to two actions, like a common minion. Yeah. For one round, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it, but I accept it. Uh, that's what the rules state. So, uh, do you have anything else? Um, I'm gonna keep moving toward. Keep, now you can get to Peepa. So okay. now you're you're right right, right with Peepa. Uh, at the end of your movement, uh, so we move to Island. Chauncey's turn. Chauncey, how you doing over there, buddy? Oh, it, uh, it's not good. Not good. It's not good. Not um, good. Can I do soothe on myself? Yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, cool. Then I can I move without being attacked? Or, well, as or long both? as as long as the ghost doesn't have the attack of opportunity reaction, you oh. can safely move. Um, does it? I mean, you can make a check. You can make a religion check to, if you want to know about ghosts. Uh, yeah, let me. Uh, or occultism. Occultism. Yeah, or let me religion. do occultism. All right. Oh, why am I picking up the bad dice? Ooh. Ooh uh, Thirty. Thirty. Uh, I can tell you two pieces of random information. Okay. But if you want one of them specifically to be whether it has an attack of opportunity, I'll tell you that. Uh. I re- actually, I mean, if we're gonna get one, then I want to know what it's more susceptible to. What it's susceptible to, you know, it's susceptible to um, uh, positive energy. <gasps> I'm in the uh, room. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, yeah, so that, that's a, it's a, you know, it's susceptible to positive divine, divine positive energy. Um, do you want to know anything else specific, or you just want like a random? Uh, what's its? I guess what's its worst save? Its worst save is actually uh, will. As oh. a plus eight to its will. Hmm. Sweet. And then would I know if it's like corporeal or incorporeal? I mean, it's a ghost. So, so yeah. it's incorporeal. Yeah. yeah. Incorporeal isn't as terrible as it was in, in the older edition. So it's not as. It, it's still nasty, but it's not. As? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, then Chauncey is going to move back. Okay. Uh, so use a full move action for 25 sure. feet and then cast Soothe on himself. Okay. So recalling knowledge is an action. Oh. And then moving was an action. I would say soothe is a two action spell, so you can start with your final action and use one action next round to complete the spell, or you could choose a different third action to take right now. No, I'll do I'll do that. Okay, so you start casting soothe. Uh, at the your first action next round will complete that spell. Okay. And you will be able to cast it on yourself. Although it's interesting, do you have to make a flat check to target yourself? For so soothe. You're dazzled. I mean, oh, sure. I assume yeah. you can just touch yeah. it. It's not a problem. Um, it would be the priest's turn, but it, he's dead, so it's Peepa's turn. I'm going to do what I do best. Uh, look around the room and fling something else at okay. him. Okay, fling away. Fling, fling away. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to steal a reroll. It's not stealing. I'm going to take a coin. Took it. Oh, wait, yeah. 19 plus 11. Oh, 19 plus 11 is 30. Uh, a critical hit. That is a critical yeah. hit. Yeah! Team Ghost! Team Ghost. 6 and 9 plus 4 is 13. Uh, 26 points of damage. Now you notice yes. that it seems to, like, as as this object like passes through it, it, it deals some damage, like like it does, but you notice it's, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to physically strike a ghost. So it seems to resist some of this. It doesn't seem to be quite as palpable a hit, um, but but it does, good at it does significant damage to this ghost. It's, it is wailing and shrieking. It is angrier than ever. And then I'm going to continue inspiring. Okay, you continue I forgot inspiring. to add my one. Can you add my one, please, to yes. my, it's my own inspire? I will add your one. I appreciate it. That is my turn. All right, Pipa, a, a solid hit, like right between this ghost's eyes, but unfortunately, ghosts know, are difficult to kill that way. Flotsam, do you have a response? Yeah, I want to try a thing. I love it. Try uh, it. It's called Umbral Extraction. 
Oh. And what I do is I essentially use my psychic powers and try to steal one of the ghost's uh, prepared or yes. innate spells. <laughs> yes. Cool. Using a thievery steal action. Okay. It's very interesting. Um, I will say that the ghost doesn't have any spells, like it's not a caster, so it doesn't have any magic to draw on. But I don't know that I would know that. Right, I'm just letting you know. So like when I, so know, it's just you like, cast oh, a spell, you try to attempt to reach into its mind to grasp its spells. You feel like maybe if that if that Sir Philip Trodden were still alive, there was something you could steal from him, but this, this ghost's mind is empty except for hatred. Cool, uh, cool, I'm glad. But it was cool, it was cool. Glad I dumped all his points in the theory. <laughs> uh, the got, ghost's turn. I got one more oh, action. You got one more action. Sorry, go ahead. And, and I don't action. have a lot left to do with that action because, I mean, I could try and mentally attack it again with the the cyburst. Yeah. So flat, basic reflex save. Basic reflex save. It uh, that is a twenty nine. Uh, uh, it's gonna save. Mm. It saves. Uh, it's difficult to pin down. My, my lights stage. start to glow a little more. In, now, in anger. It is slowed, so it can only take two actions. The only actions I can think of to take are to float up <laughs> to the rat and kill him. Critically hit him, sap the rest of his life force, get him off the board. That's all I've got. But with a three on the die, <laughs> Do you guys want to give me a hero point? No. I could use a hero point. No. And all this no. In fact, you need to add some of those back in. So yeah. We count so we have eight. How many are you supposed to have? We got five in eight. there. We're supposed to have eight. All right. There. Yeah. You have a total of eight in the pool. Yeah. Uh, with a 16 to hit and no other actions, the ghost reaches out for you. Uh, but And it's going to be freaky because there's still all these <clears> flashes and all you see. It's almost like a strobe light. The ghost is coming for you. You catch a flash of it and then it, it whiffs and it's just like gone in a, in a sense. Don't know what's happening. This is terrible. Uh, moon dust. Yes. You could <clears throat> just get leave. both of them in another <laughs> firework Shut blast. up, Jim. They're right next to each other. Peepa, did you move up? I did not. I have just stayed. And how far away is Peepa from the villain? The, go oh, the ghost moved up. Uh -huh. Yeah, the ghost, the ghost is right next to the rat now. Okay. You're right next to Peepa. So 40 feet. I'm 40 feet. No, because he's moving he's closer sorry. to you. He's Perfect. moving back towards you guys. He's about maybe like 20 feet away now at this point. Oh, no, wait. Again? <laughs> no, no. Oh, Blast him. <laughs> a cone would hit him, right? <laughs> no, a cone would be perfect. Oh, why are all my spells cones? Yeah, hit him with a cone. No. Throw some candy no. at him. He looks hungry. No. <laughs> he looks but hungry. he's trying to kill my friends. Um, okay, okay. So I can I can pick a target within 60 feet. All right. Okay. I'm going to first attempt to cast my um, my focus spell, which is one action. And it's fairy dust. Okay, what does fairy dust do? I can throw it, and you get a will save. Okay. And um, you may be affected by certain things, depending okay. on if you well, fail, which I hope you do, please. Not going to. I no, you will. To no, you wow. will. Wow. I have positivity. 26. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, and then for my other two actions, I'm going to cast. Where'd it go? Sudden Bolt! Ooh, Sudden Bolt's a good one. Go, go! That's a basic reflex save as you call lightning from the heavens to strike this creature. She's been throwing candy this whole time. She had lightning in her fist. Yeah, well, candy's more fun. Uh, the reflex save is probably not that great, although I have a high one. It's a 17. You fail! And you're going to take so much damage. How much damage do I take? 4d12. Jesus. Oh my. Whoa. Oof, oof. Holy Wait, is that right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, those are beefy oh, spells. <laughs> Level three spells. I need to find all my d12s. D12. That's what I like about when, 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 they, when they went to second edition with Pathfinder, is they said, you know what? The d12 is going to have its day. Yeah. The yeah. d12 yeah. is going to get some play. Just for barbarians. I love and now the d12 gets some action. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Two 11s, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 from me. I'm singing. Diana. Call down this lightning bolt and it strikes the ghost who fails. Who is so focused, his hatred so focused on Shansi that he doesn't even notice and is just obliterated. Oh, oh. In a blinding flash of light. But because Chauncey was, his, his eyes already weakened, is now permanently blinded. What? Yeah. 
because of the lightning. <laughs> he didn't bolt. roll a save. No, he doesn't even get one. Your yeah. magic, your magic was so powerful. So mean. He doesn't even get one. He's just permanently blinded. <laughs> There's can, nothing he could do. Blind now. Uh, I cast blind. But I cast never doing that episode again. He knows instinctively that it was you who did that. Like he, he just doesn't. Knows it. He doesn't know. He couldn't see. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there, there is a lightning blast, and and the ghost just evaporates. Like it clears. Uh, there's a roll of thunder in this in this barrow tomb, and uh, and and it just after everything, there's just it's calm. Uh, a moment later, like you can see clearly again, the dazzle, like the the flashes uh, dissipate. There's none of that psychic uh, residue of anger and despair <laughs> here anymore. There's only the broken body of Sir Philip Trotton and an empty tomb. What? What was the treasure he was talking about? Perception check. Yeah. Sure, make a perception check. He didn't even sign the contract. I'm gonna use a hero point. Was it Reginald that set us up? (laughs) Yeah. That is a 23 for me. Dirty 20. Peepa. Yes. You are searching the room. Mm-hmm. in the aftermath of this of this battle. And you see that the sarcophagus has a false bottom. And beneath that, uh, you, you, you think like, oh, here it is, here's the treasure. But all that's under there is this leather-wrapped bundle. Mm. You pull it out. Mm-hmm. Do you open it? Yes. Inside is <laughs> a book. <laughs> oh, I read it. Oh, you God. open oh, the book. <laughs> you all watch as Peepa begins to read. Oh, oh no, I'm on your shoulder. And she reads, mm-hmm. and she reads. You all are watching all this happen. She just keeps going. She doesn't you call out to her. She doesn't seem to... Respond to you. I'm summoning. <laughs> oh. You touch her on the shoulder finally, and she like snaps away. She's like, you see this like anger <gasps> on her face that you're not used to. But then it passes, and she's oh, she holds it, she closes the book. Well, what did I say? You. Everybody is looking at you, and you have no idea. Are you okay? You don't even remember opening the book. Like you, it's in your hand. Like you, you have this. Like you open the book and then like you, you, no, you know, then then all of a sudden they're bothering you. What? I just wanted to see what's inside. I don't think that's a very good book. You got kind of snippy. Okay, well, should we burn it? Yep. Uh, oh, don't. Maybe <laughs> uh, don't go. Uh, we should okay, bring cool. it back to H. Sure. Or... Oh yeah, cool let me, check. Yeah. Let me let me just hold it for. A few moments. Okay. Uh-oh. I'll oh do that, that resonance thing sure. to see it, feel if it's imbued. Um, as soon as you open your mind to this book, oh. uh, the next thing you know, you are back in Cavalosha. You are back at the HEI headquarters. Your friends are there. The book is gone. You all um, remember, like, he, like, touched this book and something happened and like you thought he was going to die. Um, he started convulsing, foaming at the mouth. He oh. was raving and then you you like had to physically drag him back to the city. Um, Good thing the book has hand. been placed in a vault beneath Heroic Endeavors uh, as as people start to like they want to investigate this, find out more about this, but but you all have been thanked for your service and assured that it will be taken care of and kept safe. Uh, the people of Angleworth have decided not to pursue anything, even smacking of a refund or damages <laughs> for what happened in their town. They they commend you all for, for the way that you put yourselves on the line for the people of Angleworth, seemingly selflessly. Um, curiously, there's really in none of the official reports 
any mention of Sir Philip Trotton or anybody else from his group. Um, uh, when you go back uh, and try to look at any of the files from this case, there's there's no mention at all of a group that originally went out. There's no, it's like all the, all the original paperwork seems to just have, have vanished. And when you open your coat to, to inspect the documents that uh, were given to you by Kip, they're all just blank <gasps> pieces of paper. Blank pieces of paper. <laughs> and that is where we will end our session for tonight. Oh, that is the end of the first episode of Heroic Endeavors. You succeeded in your mission. Congratulations, Yay. Heroic Endeavors. We not have it. to give out a refund. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but do we get paid for checking you, in? You, of course, get paid for a day's okay. work. Oh, yes. I think we'll calculate how many coins you were tossed, Andy. and that'll be your pay. Yeah. Your well, oh, oh. <laughs> Those are bonuses. We work for AG. You're killing me. I know. Killing me, I know. Oh. I know. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that money? <laughs> Buy trinkets? I'm going to have to have a whole like economy yeah. where I take <laughs> it all back. So economy. Uh, before we head out, let's chat with chat for a little bit and see how yeah. they liked the episode. It was good to be back, everybody. We're, thank yes. you so much for watching us. We hope you had a good time. We had a good time playing. It was a good time. Uh, see some names I recognize, like I'm yeah. in for life, who says, yes. so a psychic, a sorcerer, and a witch, and a bard walk into a tavern. <laughs> yep. Um, this is all caster group. Yeah. No meat That's shields true. in this party. All I mean, casters. I mean, Jared was. I mean, Jared not, was the meat shield. Not by choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just happened. Uh, I'm in for life, donating $50 for five of those hero points. Wow. Jared oh, called wow. it. Sarah BC1, yeah. dropping another 50 for five hero points. Yeah, there wow. And 11 to 18, donating a coin to Katie. To Katie. Thank you, Evan. Uh, uh, Wandering Monster. I saw you at Gen Con. Good to meet you in person. Uh, so happy to see Dat in action again. And I agree. Uh, Penguin Witch Doctor. Whoa. Fancy dice cam. Fancy dice cams. Fancy yeah, dice we have cam. like the, the group cam. dice cams now. I like uh, oh, Zippy sorry. Karma's comment. Uh, I'm going to set a reminder to never get close to Katie in Pathfinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had four HP. I'm so Ooh. sorry. Wow. Oh my four. god. Oh, you're a squishy almost boy. Gotcha. Yeah. You're almost got gotcha. you. Yeah. Squishy boy. Ooh. That's oh, why no. when you were like, oh no, the spell? Oh no. <laughs> Was I gonna I do will it again? Die. I wouldn't have done it to begin with, but I had already said it. It was so. funny because I noticed at the break. Uh, right after you'd fought those bats, everybody was like, yeah, we're just ripping Woo! through these. We got yeah, this. So yeah, great. we're so tough. I was like, yeah, because you're fighting, you're fighting the little guys. You're fighting well, the little big, guys. My big spells failed. <laughs> Luckily, Katie saved the day, because yeah. then I was yeah. going to go back to my like amp things. Yeah. But, uh, I didn't think that it? would hit. That was nuts. Ooh, they, uh, Aussie Gamers, Pride Dice is the best dice. Yeah. Best yeah. It certainly yeah. seemed to turn your luck around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It I'll tell you what, helped, all yeah. those hero points that you guys were getting, it oh, was a good thing. Nice. Yeah. There, were a, them, lot of, there were a lot of failures oh, that got turned definitely. around because yes. of those hero points. Yes. Uh, Baron Samadhi, X Jim, says he can't wait for more Jim behind the screen. Oh. Uh, probably talking about our upcoming show over on our network. Yes. That's right. Yes. We have Phantoms. our own network, the Datnet, uh, on, on, on Twitch, and we will be running our own shows. We've got another, what, two, two Fridays until, two Fridays until, we happen, until that goes. To make it happen, but then we'll be starting our own story there. Uh, speaking of which, I will be here running uh, the next, next Tuesday. I'm running another episode. The Tuesday after that, I'll be running an episode. Then after that, we're going to let some guest GMs take over and run Heroic Endeavors for a little bit. So you'll get to see some other people in the castle taking the helm. It'll be nice. It'll be cool. Maybe even somebody here at this table Whoa. will be... Whoa. Maybe two people <laughs> here at this Diana. table. Diana. Uh, finally, we got her to do it. Diana. Diana. Uh, we'll find out later. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. What? Paizo, official Paizo. Oh. Hey, oh. We said we made him proud. Aww. Aww. We miss you, Paizo. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Paizo. Um, also, have we not talked about how ridiculously tiny Diana's dice, dice are? Dice on purpose. Little tiny dice. Little tiny dice. Got the dice. dice. They're like. It was hard for me to see them. Little tiny dice. I'm right here. I did on purpose so that um, because Peepa is tiny, see? Little tiny Peepa dice. Yeah. 
My kids I like the red. Oh, that red dye? That's like a classic, that like, yeah. like a dye from dye. like my original sets. I love those. I got those, another like, coin? Dice. You got two coins. Yeah, nice. coins Jim, for... I'm rolling. She's wrecking your economy. Yeah, everybody's yeah. wrecking hey, Jim, economy. can I have an instant fortress? No, absolutely. Oh. oh. I will Malice1974 says, great episode and great role playing. Thank you. I would uh, say this, the, the dry cleaning, the clothes <laughs> after you <laughs> and, and the person does, probably about 10 gold pieces to get you're, your clothing back to tip top shape. So listen, we'll just, that's fair. Just, it's fake, you gotta I will just buy new clothes. <laughs> uh, Very expensive shops and chemistry. So <laughs> Sarah BC wants nice to see the castle oh, after so long. Because it's been, yeah, it's been two it's, years. Well, I mean, I don't know that we've seen the castle officially on our channel, right? Not in this setup. Because we went Not from here, the, yeah. the dining room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To this, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last game I played here was 2020. Oh. March of 2020. March 2020. Hey, Eric Frankhouse presents. Frank House. Hey, Frank House. Everyone made it out alive. Yeah. I barely. almost got one, Eric. Yeah, you all couldn't ooh. quite pull it off. I was close, too. I wasn't quite that close. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Don't look into the lightning, James. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Bobby Frank's thing>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Fudge nuts. <laughs> fudge nuts. <laughs> fudge nuts. Hashtag fudge nuts. Hashtag fudge. JD Hood says, amazing episode. And you know what, JD Hood 92? I agree. It was an amazing episode. Alas, it's over. But oh. do not forget to tune back in next week, right here, 6 o'clock, Tuesday night, for more heroic endeavors. Until then, happy gaming. We will see you around. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 B